hair and private label hair care company. So today, um, I have a couple clients. One that I didn't even remember I had by the way. Mm -hmm. We're not going. We just gonna just let that go. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'll tell you guys the story. <laughs> so I have a client who's a, a very famous client of mine. You guys all know her. She's one of my hair replacement clients, my first hair replacement client to be exact. And we talked and talked and talked and talked and talked about her coming to get her hair done and she's going on her trip and all this stuff and she needed to come in early. Thank God I didn't tell her she can come in earlier because she really would have sat here. But this is why I tell people that I book everything online because I know myself and I know that my attention span is the size of a grape. And if I don't do it right then and there, I'm not doing it, right? Or if you don't constantly hound my text message, I won't remember. So with her, um, I told her to come. I did not put her on my schedule. Why, I don't know. Or maybe I put her on a, did you get a reminder of an appointment? Mm -hmm. Okay, what time did it say on it? 8.30. Today? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I didn't even look. I'm just gonna take, I'm, you gotta just admit, I didn't look. I told myself I get to work at nine. All right. So, hold on, y'all. I go drop my kids off at the babysitter because they're not sitting at home all day doing nothing. Right? I stop. I get food. I sit in the car at the restaurant. I eat my food. I talk to my friend on the phone as I'm riding down the road. I'm playing my music. We're chatting about school. I even took the longer route to work because I knew that I was early. I get to work. Mind you, you know, I didn't rush. I didn't do any. I just cruised down the street because I knew I had time. Get to work and still sit down in the parking lot and eat more of my food because I'm at work on time. Right? <laughs> Come upstairs and I hear somebody say, hi, Crystal. And I turn around and I'm like, hi. <laughs> and lo and behold, there's both my 9 o'clock and my mysterious 8.30. <laughs> So I say, hey, what time was your appointment? She said 8.30. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> so I had to like apologize a couple of times. Like, I am so sorry. I even told her what I was doing. I was on time in my head, you guys. Listen, life was good this morning. I even took the stairs. I didn't even take the elevator. That's how on time in my head I was. <laughs> I don't take the stairs, y'all. Just so everybody's on the same page. I'm one of those people where we have a two-story house, and if I know I'm going upstairs, I'm taking everything I need from downstairs, so I would never go back downstairs. So the fact that I walked the stairs this morning should tell y'all something. But no, she's here. My other client is here, so I'm getting my day started. We're going to do some hair replacement services today, which now you guys should know who my infamous client is, because she's always on the camera, by the way. Always. Always. So what we did was we removed her unit. This is her unit that we had used um, multiple times now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's sur it survived. Like, it came off super easy. It lasted. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to use it again for the last time on Earth. She cannot bring this one back. <laughs> she already know she can't bring this one back. It's, there's no bringing it back to do it again. I'm going to tell her no. But she loves it. Like, the older it got, the better it looked. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a, a tighter coil um, unit on her next service. So today we're just gonna get her prepared um, for her to go on her trip. And um, after I removed the unit, I washed her with our pre-treatment actually. I didn't even use the shampoo this morning on her. I used the pre-treatment on purpose because the pre-treatment is super strong. It gets rid of the itch. It helps to soothe the scalp. It, it just takes away all of that ickiness that you might be feeling at the scalp level. And it just really just cleans really well. And then, of course, you move into the shampoo. But in her case, I did not move into the shampoo. I used the pre-treatment. Because remember, her unit is on her head for how long? How long has this been on? That's like five weeks. So it's been on her head for five weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, so I wanted to make sure that I gave her a really good scrub. I allowed it to sit on her scalp um for about two three minutes maybe while i spoke with my other client and consulted with my other client um and then it just literally came off really really easy so i'm going to condition her um but i'm going to actually use some b7 beyond shampoo for her final shampoo along with a little bit of the soothe and balance shampoo now for those of you that don't know b7 beyond is our biotin volumizing shampoo 
Now, while we're not trying to give her volume because we know that she has a lot of balding in her, in her scalp area and it's also scarred, I'm still nourishing the hair that is around it because you still want to take care of this hair. This hair is super important. Okay, you don't want to run the risk of depleting every strand of hair because you're not caring at the fact that you only have hair in a certain spot. So I'm going to use that biotin for here. And then she still has live follicles. These follicles are nowhere near dead. They grow in under the unit. So she still has her live follicles under there where if she decides to ever grow it back out, those follicles still need to be very healthy. So that's why I'm using that B7. And then the Soothe and Balance is just to aid and soothe her scalp that we're about to cover up again. So I want to give her a good wash. And she told me I have to give her a good wash. Mm -hmm. She even puts her glasses down on the counter. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not holding anything. <laughs> All right, we better? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's good. All right, so when you're about to do hair replacement and you're putting the unit back on, you do want to make sure that you are starting with a very clean surface. It's super important. Um, that's also another reason why I wanted to make sure that her scalp was nice and clean. Um, and that's also what attests to the longevity of the service because I'm giving her a clean canvas to work with from the beginning. I don't want to partially or half wash her knowing that this unit needs to stay on for another four or five weeks at, at its best. Okay, so that's super important as well. And then for her conditioner, I'll use a little bit of the B7 conditioner. I'm not going to condition the crown. I'm just going to condition the hair around the sides and the back. Why I'm not conditioning the crown is because I don't want to in introduce any emollients to that area that it will potentially increase the um, oil production. Because I want that area to be nice and dry on purpose. Okay, so we're just putting some B7 conditioner around the hairline. Oh, I'm saying hairline, around the perimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse her with cool water. Ready? Oh, that's good. good. Most people don't say that, so that's great. Push back a little bit in the bowl for me, thank you. And we kind of have this down pack, like, Mm -hmm. it, we have it down to a science now of how we do this and it doesn't take us hours like it did the first and second time. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it goes really quickly once we get the prep work done. I miss my color. You miss your color? Mm -hmm. Sit up for me. Well, the unit is starting to get darker than your hair now. Sit up for me. So are you trying to color these parts? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to wait? Can we color it? It's really so at least match it to the unit? No, I'd have, have to color it now. To, it now <coughs> is actually the time that I would add the color. Okay. So it's kind of like, um, I don't think it would take that long, though. It wouldn't? No, because okay. it's, it's virgin hair. So. Okay. All right, so I'm going to... No, sit right here. Sit here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to mix a little bit of color um, <coughs> to lift her sides. Yeah. Um, a little bit lighter to kind of match her unit. Yeah, just because. Um, I'm going to do a 6N, which is exactly the color of the unit. The unit is a 6N. So we're just going to bring it up slightly higher than where she is now. She's dark right now, so any lighter color is always going to suffice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 20 volume, but I'm going to add a little bit of lightener to the color to kind of help it um, lift and deposit all at the same time, which it doesn't really take much. So sprinkling a little bit of lightener in there just kind of helps to give it a little bit more speed, but this is not a practice that I recommend you guys try at home. Please don't forget that part. <laughs> This is not something I recommend you guys try at home. If you're doing any form of lightning or chemical services, please go to a stylist. I cannot express that any more than I have. J 
Just see, do they crystal on the right side? Uh, no, um, Shadi, she comes a little bit later. Um, we just kind of figured it out. Yeah. She has other thing, other obligations that she has to kind of take care of early. Yeah. So that she can get here. So yeah. Instead of stressing out, we just changed her time a little bit. Yeah. And I can manage. Like I've been doing this a long time. Yeah. So I can do this all on my own. Y'all can need some for me today. All right, so I have my lightener and color mixed here. I'm just going to mix it really well in the bowl. The reason why the color is changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, you guys can see her little her sprigs of live hair. There's live hair still in there that we just cut it down. Mm -hmm. So the, the reason why this is changing color so dark is because I put lightener in there, but it's still going to color the right color. You want to moderate while you're sitting there? You know you're my moderator while you're here. <laughs> yeah, let me get on. Let's see on there. All right, so I'm going to apply her lightener slash color. Oh, my God. Yes. Just start from midway. Don't even go all the way back because it's so much. You guys are up early because it's like 300 of you just already on here. Normally, by the time we get to this part, it's just like a couple hundred, like a hundred or so. You guys are on it today. <laughs> Cynthia Montgomery said, she's a pretty lady. Love the way she lets us see what's going on. Brave lady. Very brave. Most people be like, mm, I'm not sure. Could I hide my face? Which you have that choice with me. Like, I don't pressure you to like have to show your face. I have covering. And I do my best, so. Fab World says, is this because of alopecia? Yes. yes. So she had dreads before. She had locks. Um, and right here was bald. And it, I'm, I would say a part of it can come from having locks because eventually over time, gravity starts to work and they get heavy and that hair can't support that length anymore. Like it can support when it's nice and short, but the longer it gets, the heavier it gets. Am I right? Yes. And then every mm -hmm. time you wash it, every time you retwist it, it's mm -hmm. more and more and more fragile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So eventually got to the point where, you know, her alopecia started to settle in in that specific spot. And it was big. Mm -hmm. It was big. So I put it out there one day and I said, hey, I need a model. I'm ready. <laughs> and she reached out and we just we went forward. Yeah. Elmira Gates says, good morning, Crystal. How are you, queen? Good morning. Good morning to all of my YouTube members. Ramona Johnson, good morning. Valicia Williams, so this hair color is okay to use on wet hair? So this is a permanent color that I'm doing, guys, with lightener. This is not a um, semi-permanent. Permanent color can be done wet, dry, dirty, clean. It doesn't matter. It's lightener. It has, sorry, it has developer in it. And then on top of that, it has lightener as well. So it will process at any speed, at any point. But her, her natural color started to come back out. And her unit is like a brownish color now. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to kind of match her with the unit a little bit better. Okay, mama. All done. Okay. Abby Rook says, good morning from Maryland. No, no, sit on the, um, the dryer chair. Good morning. Come on over, my dear. You can leave your bag in the, in the chair. This one. Number? A one? A customer 
our service number? Um, right now we're doing customer service through email. So if you have a customer service inquiry, send an email to help at elitehaircareusa.com and that will get you through to customer service and they'll be able to assist you from there. But we have a lot of inquiries right now, you guys. We're trying to navigate through people who haven't received their orders um, that have already been shipped. So give, be a little patient with us. Or orders that have shipped, but they have not gone anywhere. They just magically ended up in someone's postal van on the ground under a box that they don't care about. All right, so before I... <coughs> Before I um, shampoo my next client, I'm just going to apply some conditioner to her unit. Um, the crazy thing is the unit looks better at this stage. <laughs> it somewhat looks better at this stage. Like, it is holding on for life. It is holding on. Okay? This unit is definitely holding on. Um, I no longer try to remove the tangles because that's not going to happen. So, we just kind of work with what's at the face value, like right on the ends. Just kind of detangle those. And then at the root level, it just looks like she has a pro. So we just kind of leave it the way it is. And then just comb it out and that's it. Brenda Coventon, she is from California, 56 years old, and she has had alopecia. She has alopecia, mm -hmm. okay. Alopecia is becoming far too common. It used to be a thing that we never really saw or talked about. It was there, but nobody really said it. Um, someone in the chat said, if I send an email to info and not help, should I resend it? Should I guess she said she didn't receive a response. So she yeah, send the email to help at Elite Hair Care. That's actual customer service. The info email, I, I try to monitor it as best I can, but it's a lot, you guys. So just write, copy, or you can just forward the email to the help email, and that puts you in our queue. We have a queue where it's an actual customer service system that we have. It's an, an actual software. And then that queue attaches to your order, all of that stuff, so that we can give you the proper help. But we're working on a form that you guys will be able to fill out and do whatever is necessary to speed this process up. Um, why did you use permanent color instead of semi? Because I'm lightening her. So I had to use a permanent color to lighten and lift. I can't use a semi-permanent color to lift her. All right, you guys. So for my next client here, we are going to be doing a good wash and deep condition. Um, one of her biggest issues right now is that she said her hair and scalp is always very dry. She tries to oil it. She tries to do all of those things and they don't really do anything for her. But what we talk about is porosity because she doesn't actually know what her porosity is. So with that being said, um, I always say to you guys that porosity is super important. It determines what products you use and don't use, meaning what your hair needs and what your hair doesn't need. So I suspect that by her explanation of the characteristics of her hair, that she is low porosity. Um, and today I'm gonna basically show her and you guys, I'll lean forward for my love, show her and you guys what to do for low porosity hair, especially for someone who, you know, you, you're just getting into understanding your hair. You're learning to understand your hair and learning how to take care of it. And then this is like, the basic steps, you guys. So everybody that's low porosity, that doesn't understand, or you're learning, now is the time to definitely pay attention. And then you guys will be able to navigate for yourself going forward. So what I'm gonna start by doing is saturating her hair really, really well. This is also a step that you guys neglect because people think that, you know, just put a little bit of water in your hair and now put some shampoo and that's really it. And then you start using a ton of shampoo and that dries the hair out even more. Saturate the hair, rinse out any excess product first, as best you possibly can, and then go into your shampoo service. Um, someone asks, how do you weigh your porosity? So you do what we call a porosity test. So for those of you that don't know your porosity, we do have a pre-recorded class available on our website right now. 
um, that's called What's My Porosity, where I teach you how to do a porosity test um, to determine if your hair is low, medium, high, or whatever. So that test or that class is going to give you all of the fundamentals of doing the porosity test. And then I have a class, I have two other classes after that, uh, where once you know your porosity, those classes go in depth about what your hair needs based on your porosity results. So I'm using the Elite Clarify as her first shampoo. You want to make sure that you start with a clean canvas. Let me know if I'm hurting you, okay? No, you're fine. You want to make sure you start with a clean canvas. Um, she also works out. She's also mature. So we're just going to use the word mature. For those of you that are mature, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those nice sweats and stuff. So I want to make sure that I clean her hair and her scalp first before I use my treatment shampoos, which is very important because you cannot put triple antibiotic ointment on a dirty boo-boo and expect it to do anything. No, you gotta clean it first. How often should we you use your leave and conditioner? After every wash day. So at the end of your wash day, you should be using leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner is not something to be abused either, you guys. Some of you are spraying on leave-in conditioner every single day, and all you're doing is building up product and drying the hair out even more. You're not conditioning. At this point, hair products not working for alopecia. Once that area is scarred, mm -hmm. there's no point of trying to apply topicals and all of that. Scarring means that it's overhealed and you have no space for a follicle to come through. All right, so for her wash day, we're going to use the Moist Repair Shampoo first. Okay, so Moist Repair Shampoo. A little goes a long way. Okay, so we did one clarify, and then we did your treatment shampoo, which is this one. Okay. Are you itchy? Hmm? Are you itchy? No. All right, so we have Harmony James. The crown of my hair is great. My hair grows extremely fast. I was trying to let the gray grow out, but it's just too poor. When I have been free aging, these hair soft, but dead around the crown. I don't get it. What's the question? Yeah, I or is it just a statement? I guess it's a statement, yeah. Oh, okay. And then, next question. What would you recommend to strip old products from here? To strip old products, like shampoo, conditioner, all you need is Elite Clarify. Like, just do a really good clarifying shampoo. Now, if your hair is severely oily, then you need to put the clarifying shampoo on your hair while it's dry before you even wet it. Okay, so if you're trying to get rid of oily hair, put the Elite Clarify on your hair at its dry state and then do your wash. So don't even wet your hair down. If not, then just clarify once or twice. That's really all you can do. All right, so since with my suspicion that she's low porosity, we're gonna do a mask on her. So I'm going to use the Moist Me 24 karat mask, okay? That amount. You guys don't see me dabbing in and taking a whole handful. You only need a small amount. A little goes a long way with all of our products. The more conditioner on your hair does not give you more conditioning action. That's not how it works. Once it's on, it's on. <coughs> Let them in while you want. Uh, yes, you can let her in. 
Okay. The green one, green one. So once this is on, I'm gonna, yeah, no, sit up for me. I'm gonna put a, sit up for me, mama. I'm going to detangle her and put a processing cap on her. Okay, so by detangle, I mean, I'm just gonna comb through her end. You can go section by section if your hair is super dense or thick. Okay, detangling now won't hurt. Uh, Valerie Dale asks, why does she need to use cold water if she clarifies her hair is dry? Why does she need to use cold water if she what? Clarifies her hair is dry. Well, I never said to use cold water. The only time you're going to use cold water is if you are trying to extract excess oil from the hair. Then you can use cold water at that point. You can go to the dryer, mama. But you don't have to use, you don't use cold water with shampoo unless it's for a specific purpose. Like I'm, I try to be intentful when I do things. So she's gonna go under the dryer for 15 minutes. All right, so Henry morning. Gibson asked, what do you think is the issue for so many women of color losing their hair? Is it diet, is it wig weave? not properly taking care of it well for me it's hereditary right so it's all of the above yeah hereditary not properly <laughs> taking care of it getting complacent with i'm protecting my hair when i'm really not protecting my hair you're protecting your hair from yourself right or just not understanding how to better care for your hair because nobody really took time to show you the ins and outs so there's a, a new a number of reasons but I, i'm really not here to hone in on it i'm not trying to change the world I'm just trying to show everybody how to take care of their hair from my little platform. That's really it. All right. How often should the leave-in conditioner be used between wash days? Uh, the leave-in conditioner should be used on wash day. The only other time you're going to use a leave-in conditioner outside of that is if you are doing a co-wash or something of that sort. But I don't recommend using leave-in conditioner on your hair every single day. The hair is dry and it's all it's doing is building up product. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse her. Um, it doesn't take long because I did put lightener in the color. So she's already brown. How often should you use leave-in conditioner when you have low porosity hair? I just kind of answered that question. Yeah. So if you guys open your ears for me, please. I answered that question twice. I was about to say that twice. Mm -hmm. So I've answered it twice. So the same and you guys are kind of asking the same question in a different form. There was one before that. Mm -hmm. The same question was one like right two. before that mm -hmm. one that asked about the same question. So they keep asking the same questions but in a different form. y'all know me very well repeating myself is not my best thing i try not to all right so her color is on i'm gonna go ahead and condition her using the moist repair conditioner so even though we've already done her wash day I just rinsed off a permanent color and her hair is gonna feel very dry. So you do still want to condition to rehydrate the hair so that you can get that dry, rough feeling off. Or take that away, I guess is the word. All right, so we're gonna use cool water to rinse her. We still did a conditioner. water it's a nicer word to use mm -hmm. cool can mean cold if i say cold they're gonna automatically wait 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 no no let me just do this and we're done um what do you use to moisturize daily honestly you can't moisturize daily if you're low porosity there's really no such thing as moisturizing daily 
low porosity hair cannot be moisturized unless it's, the cuticle is wide open. So I say you can use a little bit of hair balm on the scalp, but constantly putting product on your hair when it's dry is doing nothing more than creating a, a bigger problem for your low porosity hair because you're just gonna dry it out more. She has hair, it's there. She has the hair that was already there. Yeah, it'll yeah. be where it was before. Mm -hmm. Consider what you're doing. What can we use for itchy scalp? Um, for itchy scalp? Yes, we, you can, um, <coughs> if you want. You can use our, um, Just hold on a second. Let's have her sit in the lobby for me. What can you use for itchy scalp? So we have our Soothe and Balance collection, which is our dry itchy. Um, we also have that bundle kit on our website. It's called a dry itchy bundle kit. Um, I mean, that's probably one of the best. It takes the itch away almost instant. Um, that's what I used on her today. You guys see her color is all done that fast because I added a little bit of lightener to the color. So what I'm going to do now is prepare her. Is there, no, I got this one. You can leave that one because I got this one. Leave this one over here. Um, I'm going to prepare her for um, the replacement service, which is really the longest part of the process. So that's what we're going to do now. The preparation. Putting it on is fast. What prevents shedding on wash day? Nothing can prevent shedding. Whatever needs to shed is gonna shed. You can't prevent shedding. Naturally, the hair is gonna shed. Naturally, like, just as like saying, how can you reduce um, your body ridding itself of, of layers of skin? Like it's the same thing. You can't stop that. All right. Should we uh, use grease products to lubricate the scalp? So you can use balm, salves, grease, whatever you want to call them. Um, our hair repair, our hair repair and growth balm is a, a scalp grease or oil or whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't say oil. It's a, it's a grease. It's a hair dress. So you can use that. But I have a method to how I oil the scalp so that you don't overdo it. So I'll tell you guys that shortly. When I'm actually when I'm describing it to my client, you guys will learn how to do it at the same time. Does that feel good? She's closing her eyes. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to give you my Natalie asks, where do you get your pads from? This one came from Fashion Nova. Um, use washer one. Your nails done? No. Thursday. Thursday? Mm -hmm. So just keep like tapping the screen just so it doesn't yeah. go away. I'm missing one nail and then the other one broke. I'm holding on for dear life. Yep. I'm gonna do all that when I get there. My mom's so long. Oh, to get your nails mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm doing it next Thursday. I can wait. I can hold out. My toes yeah. don't have any polish on it, so I've been covering them up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to hold out. So what I'm doing right now is cutting down any hair that has grown out. Um, with this service, you do have to bald the area, but it does not kill the follicle that she already has. If there's hair there, it's going to grow. So it actually just grows right under the unit and just starts to kind of push the unit up, which is exactly why your front comes out right there, you know, because mm -hmm. all that hair grows and pushes mm -hmm. it all. Yeah, I figured. But when I looked at it today, that's exactly where all the hair grew. So I'm just going through and cutting down any hair that I see, any long pieces. You want the area to be as low as possible. That's very important with what we do for her service.
And then at this point, this is where we create our line. Her unit is in the dryer right now. So it's drying. It does need to be dry before I put it on. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean her scalp with alcohol. This is a very important step because you have to clean it. And you're basically drying out that area so that you can start applying your protectants and your adhesives and all of that stuff. So I'm going to clean her with the towel first. I'll clean her with the towel first, and then from there, I'm gonna clean her scalp again. So I'm using the towel, but then my next clean, I'm not gonna use the towel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean her once more. I don't use cotton to do the cleaning or the scalp protection phase. The reason why is cotton can leave behind fibers. You don't want any fibers. So this is alcohol again. Now I'm just gonna dab it. Just to make sure that I allow it to really soak in and really clean this area off. Especially right up here where her hair likes to grow out really quickly. Your dad knows stuff. My dad? He's responding. Yeah. Him and Grace, they're always responding. All right, so we're going to let that dry for a second. Uh, Reba, it can last four, five, six weeks. It just depends on how you care the hair. If you sweat a lot, if you perspire a lot or not, that, that plays a factor in how long the unit lasts. All right, so now I'm going to protect her scalp. This is called skin protectant. So we just dab it on. Make sure that I get it all into the grooves. Do you have a bundle for everything you need on wash day? So there's different bundles for different situations. We've got Stop Shedding. We have so many different bundle kits. So yes, if you go to our website, EliteHairCareUSA.com and click Bundle Kits, you'll see all of the bundle kits available and they are titled based on the problems that you might have. Adrian asks, what can you put on gray hair to make it lay down better? Relax it. There's nothing else that's gonna make it lay down better. Relax it or texturize it. If not, that's all you got. And even when you relax it, it still stands up. If I show you my little gray hair, it literally sticks out and does this thing. And I relax my hair every two to three weeks. It is wire. It's like wire, yeah. Because it, it's like barbed wire. Like, you can be super relaxed and it'll still do its own thing. All right, so I'm going to let this air dry for a second. My kids love that hairstyle. I do it. I like. I do my hair long sometimes. I do it medium. Sometimes I do a bob sometimes. And I was fatter then. It was right after I had my first, my son, so I hadn't lost any weight yet. I still look like a mom. All right, you guys. So her hair is her scalp is nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and start up. Applying the adhesive. Uh, Lady Cotter says, Hi Crystal, I finally caught a live. Do I need to cocktail all the smoothie and balance products or just a shampoo? You can cocktail any one of the products in that line. Any one of them. And for those of you that I'm recommending product for, I'll give you guys a coupon code that you'll be able to use today. If you give me just a moment. 
So you'll be able to use the coupon code for anything outside of bundles and tools. So what I'm doing is I'm applying the first layer of adhesive. Okay, what we've discovered is that nice, thin, even layers make a huge difference. You can actually call them, you can get the next one. Um, Gail Duncan asks, do you recommend a hair vitamin? Absolutely. We just actually restocked our hair, skin, and nail gummies. They're called Goddess Growth Gummies. Those are back in stock. You can go to the shampoo bowl, Mom. All right, so we're going to allow this first layer to dry to dry so she keeps count because she knows i always lose count so <laughs> we're not even going, going to <laughs> attempt you'll usually hear me ask are you sure all right and i'll be like i don't know maybe is no this is layer one? number five mm -hmm. <laughs> all right adrian you're asking all the so, questions today can you do anything to prevent shrinkage with styles before wash day um not really shrinkage is going to happen the moment water touches the hair so yeah. there's nothing to prevent shrinkage shrinkage is what you have all right so i'm you guys can't see me good morning but you can hear me you can sit in my chair oh, sit here, sit here. you guys can't see me but you can hear me can you do me a favor can you give me the heat protectant spray uh, what I'm going to do is rinse my client who is low porosity. I'm going to rinse her with cool, cool water. And then she'll go under the dryer with leave-in protectant and also heat protectant. Okay, Adrian, you're So when you do yours at home and you're rinsing the conditioner, mm -hmm. same thing. It's not the favorite, but it works. It closes the heat. The cold water. Mm -hmm. Only on the condition. Okay. I didn't know if I needed to wear a mask. Did I need it? It's optional. Oh, well, let's take this off. I think I can. Girl, breathe. Girl, breathe. It's optional. It's mask optional here. <laughs> you assume your own risk. <laughs> it's all optional. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. you asked the question yesterday? Yes. Oh my God, when people start asking those questions. <laughs> and I was like, you guys don't leave in the comments for a while. I was, and then she said, oh, oh yeah, yeah, she was been there for a while, so I trust her. I trust her. <laughs> uh -huh. Cash only, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hi, how are you? Good. You look so nice. Where you going? Oh, I'm sorry. I know, sister. Where's she going? Oh. She's at work. She looking fabulous. That's your sister. My mom. That's her mom. When I saw her, I think she had a hat on when I saw her that day. No? No. When no, I saw her no, at no. Walmart? This is everybody at the salon today. She's so pretty. Hey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Later, bye. Uh, yeah. Okay. She run into them. When you finish. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Bye. No, but I have some place to be for 134 to work today. Okay, all right then, later. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll text you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, bye. Can you turn the thing? Turn it this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just turn it up for a minute. I just put my name scrolls account today. Yeah. All right, so I'm just rope twisting her into three sections. I sprayed some moist repair leave-in conditioner. Um, because she is low porosity, I chose to use the moist repair. And then after I sprayed the leave-in conditioner and kind of rubbed it in, that's when I then sprayed the um, heat protectant blow-dry spray. And when I say spray, you guys, a small amount. Like, you're not trying to saturate your entire head like you're washing it. It only takes a little bit. It's a mist. So use it as such. Some people, you guys are like spraying it like it's like you're slathering lotion on yourself. Like, you know, way too much. All right, go ahead and go to the dryer. All right. Okay.
somebody said yesterday, like, her phone gets on my nerves. I'm so sorry I'm on her. Then another lady's like, she do too much. I'm so sorry I do too much for you. You probably just don't do enough. Okay? Something else come on. Can easily get off the channel. People are weird. And like, they're super weird, so okay, whatever. What are we doing? Okay, before you go up on here, <laughs> I want you to know that it wasn't intentional. Okay. Uh -oh. And that they start preparing you from early. Okay. It wasn't my fault. What okay. Um, yeah, exactly. What happened was. Let's see. Okay. I went to go get my hair done. Can somebody put those braids that look like they have the thing in between? Or oh, just eight. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're called. Braids that look like they have one in between? They like they got the opening in between. Like Stitch braids. Stitch braids. That's okay. what they call. And I think she did a little bit too much. Okay. And I have lupus. Okay. And I have SLE lupus, so it affects my hair in certain spots. Like okay. you'll see the middle part is very short, and I got like a patch right here. They was giving me injections, but I can't take the pain, so I stopped it. Okay. You were getting the steroids. Yes. Yeah. I, I can't take the injections. The pain. <coughs> I used to do that too. It's intense, but, and it doesn't stay. It's not well, a forever. I just it's got a, tired of going. Yeah. I can't take the thing. So. All right. So what is it that we want to do today? Um, it's been a while since I've been. I've been trying to. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm right along with you. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I went to let a young lady try to trim it for me because it was getting out of hand. Okay. I don't know if she did a good job because it still don't look like it's right. And I have been like putting just washing and putting rinse in. I don't have a perm. Okay. Um, I just been washing it and, and um, trying to rinse it myself. Okay. And and I probably did more harm than I did good. And I have been putting this in it. Oh, okay. I mean, this Clairol makes it. Okay. Just another line. It's not the the best for gray. It doesn't do the most, but I mean, it's color. It's just it's semi permanent. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you putting another color for your roots today? No, I like to stay with out? the red. I don't want gray. I'm okay. not trying no, to No, no, I'm saying one. you want to color your roots. You yes. Yes. Okay. And then you want to say, is is it this that you were starting with or was it darker? Let me see the color. Let me see the, the level of the color. Like was it that bright? Oh, it was like was a, it was a red brown, like an mm -hmm. auburn, kind of like an auburn kind of color. So it fades to this. Mm -hmm. That's how it, it fades to this. Okay. So we're definitely going to do semi-permanent color on the roots. Um, I got to extract. You got a lot of product. Did you just take it out? Is that what you mm -hmm. okay. I took it out yesterday. That's why I was asking you the question about the credit card because I went on the line to see if you had any appointments and you had one for the day. I was like, oh, I got to get this. I got to get this. I got to get this. Somebody canceled. Yeah. Like, super well, lucky. And, and that's why I was asking the question about it. I said, oh, man, ain't got you no take credit card? No, yeah. bring cash, please. <laughs> Once you start asking, don't, please don't bring it. I was like, oh, my God, you got no cash on me. I was like, oh, she has to take credit cards. She has to take credit cards. No, I take credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, someone asked, she said, hey, whatever happened to your um, assistant, the one girl that you had there, I think she left and she had, she has a baby. And she's talking about Ash. Uh, is she coming back? No, Ash got, for those of you that don't know, Ash is a manager. When Ash was working here, she was a manager at Disney at that time. But she had a set schedule, so we knew her schedule. Like, they had a, a seniority system there. But since she's had the baby and then COVID happened and Disney laid off everybody, managers first, mm -hmm. she got a new job with another company, which I'm not going to mention who, but it's still in food service and you don't have a schedule. It's whatever they give you in this particular company. So she doesn't know her days off. So she could never commit to something because she doesn't know. Right. So I only see Ash when Ash want to come and terrorize my life and get her hair done. That's really mm -hmm. it. Or if she calls me about my kid or something, but that's all. But yeah, Ash has an actual career. Like she has a whole career. She was just doing this on the side and COVID happened and life happened. So so what I'm doing right now, you guys, if you guys notice. Can I get a little bit more shampoo? 
I'm putting shampoo on her hair while it's dry. So we're not even at the shampoo bowl. That's okay, so I use the Elite Clarify on her hair while it's dry because I need to extract all of this product buildup, oil, jam, whatever they use to make the braids super pretty. But when it comes on to me now having to press her, if I don't extract all of this product, it's gonna be a heavy press. Heavy, so heavy. No, her question was the plates are not meeting. That's oh. totally different. Okay. I thought she was saying like the hair. Like the hair. Mm -mm. Well, what will happen is if I don't extract a lot of that product while it's dry. So the moment water touches your hair, if it's oily, oil and water doesn't mix. So then the oil becomes the barrier and the water skims over. So if you put the shampoo, just like if you were to put Dawn Dish detergent on a grease spot on a shirt before you wet it, the grease spot disappears because you attacked it with a, a sulfate first or even a non-sulfate, it doesn't matter, but that's how you're supposed to extract it and then wet it. So the shampoo now washes the oil off and the water comes next. I do, and I hated chemistry, but look at, look at me. If my chemistry teacher could see me right now, he'd be so proud. Uh, Sharon Cardi said, go Crystal, you look sweet. Thank you. Destiny J said, Crystal, are you gonna be on all day? I hope so. I, I am. Work. I will be at work with you, honey. Come on, bitch. you guys so we're going to put on the next layer of adhesive if you guys notice it's dried nice and clear that's exactly what we want so thin layers So I actually wrote a book, a published book, how to open a salon with less than $10,000, which is what I did. Um, that book is available on my website as well, EliteHairCareUSA.com, and you'll be able to basically get the roadmap, get resources, all of that of how to open your own salon. And I talk about everything that I went through in that book. It was it's quite adventurous. Um, Someone asked, goes by Crystal, what is the biggest change you have noticed since taking the gummies? What is the biggest change I've noticed since taking the gummies? Stronger nails, better skin. But let me, I need to explain something to you guys when it comes on to vitamins. It doesn't matter who, what, or where you get them from. Vitamins take time to be introduced into the body. So the first two weeks, you're really retaining almost nothing because you're building it up. This is why I tell people, do not just get reliant on taking biotin, 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 B7, B7, B7. Because the body, the hair, the skin, it needs other nutrients to be healthy. Biotin is not just the only one, that's B7. That's all biotin is, B7. So with any vitamin or whatever, consistency is definitely important. And then also understanding that what you're introducing to your body after you use them is going to be the difference. So if you're still doing the unnecessary things and you're trying to change your life with just a vitamin, unfortunately, you're not changing anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, wow. 
um, Valencia Williams asked, have you all grown your current song yet? Um, have I outgrown it? I mean, yeah. I outgrew my current salon before I even got here. I had already had a ton of clients. I just make it work. You know, I was doing 80 clients a month in my own salon when I owned my own space. And that was a six-chair salon, and I still didn't have enough space. But now I just learned how to work around my schedule. Oh, that was another comment that I, I read this morning. One lady was like, uh-uh, she has too many people. I would have been got, a, got up out of her chair. Well, sweetheart, you gonna still pay. You don't have to check. <laughs> okay. On one of the comments, like, oh, I would have been got in her chair. Okay, no problem. I mean, you can do that, but you're still in pain and have a great day. Like, Dar T. Bryant, we are in Altamont Springs, Florida, in my salon suite. <laughs> Say that again. I'm just answering one of the questions. Oh, okay. I need to wipe off right here. Natural Libra 64 says she has lupus, which affects the skin and the scalp, mm -hmm. and the super grow it serum helps. Oh, that's good. That is good to know. I'm calling her name. I don't want to mess it up. Kaita F. Kaita. Kaita. I'm so sorry, girl. Oh, yeah. She says her edges have grown in drastically. Oh, good. Yeah. Good to know. 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 Good that is good. So I'm just cleaning off her hairline because you do want to make sure. This, this is the second one. Um, yeah. <laughs> making sure I'm on point. I'm making sure you know, I'm on point. She know I'm going to sit here like, what number we on? We see when we get around number four, <laughs> number five. I stopped and remember where we are. Uh, let's see. Sheila Jordan said she missed the answer regarding the flat iron plates. Not needed. I don't think we Talk about no, that was a question from yesterday. It wasn't about it. No one asked a question about it today. That was a question I had yesterday about the plates not meeting on the iron, and I told her what to do um, to rectify that situation, which really there's nothing that you physically can do. You just have to contact the manufacturer for them to either send you a replacement or have a solution for you. So we don't, we don't have to do any warranty work on my end. Everything goes through H2 Pro, and they're based in Atlanta, so it's really easy. Layer two. Tanetta, thank you. I did see your comment. You're right. You did reply to her. People are just weird. Like, people just like to make, make things out of nothing. Like, I don't know. You know, I, I reply to people in, in laughter, you know, fun and games. But to be quite honest, like, you don't have to sit in my chair. God has blessed me tremendously where I don't have to do so much. And he keeps blessing me because I do good. That's from Bath and Body Works. Of course, they had a huge sale. I got like eight thousand candles, and I have a lot of um, rewards to go ahead and cash in. Mm. I got like <laughs> I forgot that I ordered so many on um, the next. Then they had a second sale on Cyber Monday. Can sit in my chair. So on Cyber Monday they had another sale. So when I get the box yesterday, I'm like, when did I order all these baby candles? So I like the baby candles. Those are really nice. <laughs> When they came, I'm like, okay, these are good. These will work. <laughs> these will work. Dorothy Bryant said um, she has alopecia and she would love to get in touch with you. How can she get in touch with you? Um, Dorothy, you can book a consultation by going to my website, EliteHairCareUSA.com. Um, from there, you'll go to book now and then you can book a consultation, whether it be what service to book or a one-on-one 30-minute -on -one consult. Um, Cree King, that's the name, Cree King, what is an approximate cost for alopecia treatment? Couldn't tell you. So I don't talk price. That is the reason why I designed my booking site to give you a almost spot on estimate of what my services cost. So I would suggest you go to my website, EliteHairCareUSA.com. Click the book now link and you'll see all of the different services catered to alopecia versus my regular services and that'll be able to give you the pricing. 
but you don't have to worry about coming into me and you you think that you know we're gonna do a silk press and it says that a silk press is 150 and then when you you go to tally up and all you got was that silk press and I say okay thank you 645 <laughs> I won't do that to you <laughs> my services are somewhat a la carte but you'll see everything that you can add on in that service and then you'll know your total I don't like surprises like that. <clears throat> so my mom has her own salon and she was interested in buying her new product. So recently, where she is in the living room, she's using the sock. She was? She's using the sock. Oh, to use? Mm -hmm. Like, where's she, like a commission salon? Is that how she does it or is it with her? It's just, yeah. With her, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, she can. So stylists, hair stylists get a little more discount. Okay. Um, if they reach out to purchase, I create a code for them. Okay. And then they purchase a stylus. Okay. With that code, and then they get a discount. Okay. Um, a little bit better than the regular. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So we blow dried her. I also did apply um, some of the heat protection spray when she was drying under the dryer. It got real hot. <laughs> And I'm over here like sweating, like, why did I choose the way it's today? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's intense. Because it was so cold. Listen, Florida weather is horrible. It's very, it's real disrespectful. <laughs> I know, I walk out the house and I'm like, I'm freezing. Get I'm here like, and within 20 minutes, it's 97. Like, I'm like, <laughs> because like 12 o'clock, I'll be hot. It is the worst. All right, you guys, so I'm going to still press her. Um, we've already applied the blow dry heat protected spray. She has leave-in conditioner in her hair. You guys witnessed our wash, so you know exactly what we did in the wash phase. So now she knows what to do on her wash day. Yeah, come back and come back and get it done. <laughs> she did that for me. She's like, yeah, I'm going to just come back to get it done. I know what to do. Asked, did you just say you give... Um, a stylist discount are the bottles the same size or professional size so we don't have any professional size yet um, when we do get professional size it'll be 16 ounce um, the reason why I don't have professional size yet is I got to keep up with the retail demand first and understand my retail demand and then I can start making pro size so um, but have, yes do you have anyone in the warehouse like in the warehouse and like prepping the orders right now yeah yes three people in there cat and then we have two production um production team workers so cat is the one that does all of the shipping because she's she's like all around and then the other two they they do formulation and um production bottling all of that stuff and then that's just and i go there every monday tuesday wednesday gotcha and i'm in there as well doing whatever I, i'm every year yeah, and that's just how it works. But yes, stylist, if you are a licensed cosmetologist and you want to be able to utilize, this is not hot yet, and want to be able to utilize um, elite hair care products in your salon on your clients, stylists do get a discount. All you have to do is email a copy of your license. It has to be a valid license, so no expired license. Um, I know in Texas it does not require a license, but you still can have proof that you're a cosmetologist or a barber. And then you get a, a slightly larger discount than those in retail. So you'll be able to utilize the products in the salon. We will soon have stylist size products, which is 16 ounce. I'm not going up to 32 ounce. Um, it'll be a 16 ounce bottle, and then there'll be a separate site for just stylist. So in Texas, they don't need a license to do it? Not anymore. They, wow. they did away with it a, a couple years ago, a wow. year or so ago. So in Texas, you don't need a license to, to practice cosmetology anymore. Yeah. Florida, they are trying to slowly get to that, but they make money off of every time you renew your license, so I don't think they're going to get rid of it. Right, yeah. That's how the government keeps their license yeah. on board. They need your and license. that's what it is in the islands, too. It's just a trade license to yeah. see what you can have the business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't have to have a license. You don't have to go to cosmetology school, but yeah, I mean, even though Texas doesn't school, require it, if Texas yeah, doesn't require it and you move somewhere else, so I let's say you leave Texas and go to New York, you have to not go to school again. Well, Cosmo School, Chandamphani. 
You'll be surprised. Cosmetology school does not teach you chemical. No? No. Cosmetology school teaches you technique, basic technique, based on, and I say this with the most humble heart, you guys, so for all of my light skin, my light skin crew on here, you guys know who you are, Crystal, everybody, no offense, but cosmetology school teaches you on white hair. The book is designed, mm -hmm. the, the book for every cosmetology school is called Malady. Malady does not teach ethnic hair, it doesn't teach about, I'm not saying ethnic, textured hair. So they're trying to incorporate it but you have to have a specialty book for that. That's a specialty. Mm -hmm. So when you go to cosmetology school, they're not teaching you that, oh, sodium hydroxide relaxer does this. No, they'll, they'll tell you the different types. They give you the basic, like, this is the different types. But really and truly, Caucasian people don't get relaxers. So that's not a big topic. That, that chapter is like this small, whereas hair cutting is that big. Hair color is even bigger, because that's what they teach. So you learn by experience, you learn by trial and error, you learn by word of mouth, and that's why continuing education is so important because you're not gonna know anything. You're not gonna learn that in school. School teaches you how to pass your state law. And state law is all about sanitation and not crossing and passing HIV and AIDS to each client. That's what it all it cares about. So when we renew our license every year, our continuing education is an HIV AIDS class. That's it. Really? It's a, it's a not even two hour class. And really, you don't even have to do it in two hours. You answer like 16 questions. And it's about cross-contamination and HIV. And that's really it. And now you can continue and get your license and we're done. Cool. <laughs> so a lot of people go to cosmic school like, oh, I'm gonna learn how to do hair. Yeah. I'm gonna learn how to do hair and all this stuff. No, you're not gonna learn how to do hair. You have to already have that gift. You have to already know what to do. <laughs> I can feel it right now. You're you see it like, in my scalp. It's wet. <laughs> can you <laughs> add my purse right here? She's me your ideas in here. She's going to get your feelings and I get little stars up there. Really? Okay. Hello. Hello. I got that purse. I got a little fan. You good? Uh, okay. okay. I'm prepared. I have flashes. <laughs> Sharon Cardi asked, do you always plait the hair before you Thank go you. under the dryer? I don't plait the hair. I rope twist the hair. Okay. There we go. Look, I gotta let you dry first. Okay. Even your ears are wet. <laughs> I don't. I don't plait the hair. I rope twist the hair. I'm not doing it. If I plait the hair, th that thing would never dry. You know, that's always. Oh, I have. I'm, I've been pausing for seven years. So you might. Uh, this is a little uh Huh? It actually seals. But it's weird because it's not Girl, like it's not like a regular hot. I love you. It's like Question. I don't How really do sweat. It's just so like you get you get, so you get moisture. Water. And um, I got tough man hands, so they probably just right. It's really my face area. Yeah, it's like here, the, like the rest of my body is have a barrier from the chemicals yeah. and. All I get to that point yet. That's embedded Thank in my skin. <laughs> I have so much relaxation. Well, I, I'm not looking forward to it. I started when I was younger, like really? in so my so early, fun. early 40s. For the most part, oh, for the most part, for the most part, for the For chemical services, like the application, they, yes. The doctor says you can go through it the rest of your life. One of my favorites will pass the past the last year. I mean, I was going through it and still had a period. Oh, that I don't have share a card. I just stopped having one maybe yeah, three yeah, years ago. But it always Ramona went Johnson out. said, Crystal, you're right. I went to cosmetology school many years ago. They don't go into detail when it comes to chemical <laughs> services like color. You only learn on Caucasian hair. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's, it's designed for Caucasian hair. Yeah, what can you do? I'm so used to that. That's all day in here. That's why I hand you the blow dryer because most of my clients they just use my blow dryer. Alright, so as soon as you stop, just turn off the um, there was something I was gonna say. Oh, I'm using the one inch elite anniversary iron to do her um her silk press, which a lot of people 
they kind of get it mixed up because they look at it like, oh, well, you know, you have the super pro hire, but then you don't offer the, you know, you don't show this, you don't do that. People are real weird in the comments. So I try to be well-rounded and show you guys that it doesn't matter the tool I use. It's how you use it. That is what matters. It's how you use the tool. I'm going to take it on a little bit. I shall take a piece of gum. Mm -hmm. Can I share? Please and thank you. Of course. I'm sharing my friend's gum. <laughs> Junior would say your, your mouth is dry. <laughs> Oh, he's like, when your breath hot, he's like, your mouth is dry. That's a mm. nice way of saying your mouth is dry. Mm. <laughs> That's I mean, breath stinks. I'll be like, mine a little tart. Mm. <laughs> he says, your, he says, it, he says your mouth is dry. <laughs> Someone in the chat is asking, where did you get your little fan from? Oh, <laughs> um, from actually from online on Amazon. I was going to say Amazon. <laughs> Yeah, if you can't find it on Amazon, it don't exist. No. Do you mind if I show them your, your fan? It's and called it, you Arctic can put water, Air. You can put water in it, too. And it's oh, a mister. It oh, okay. And I've seen this brand, Arctic Air. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, thank you. I guess Amazon sells a little bit of everything. They do. Mm -hmm. Amazon has beat out Walmart. Oh, yeah. That was never a thing. You could never beat out Walmart. Yeah. And they beat out Walmart. COVID is when Amazon became real popular. She went to black school and they learned chemicals. She said she went to what? A black cosmo school. Now, there are a lot of um, black cosmo schools throughout the United States. And I can agree. But it's a give and take. So here's the thing. And I love the fact that you went to a black cosmo school. But to be quite honest, how many are there? It's not many. Dudley used to have one of the best schools, and now they barely exist. If you do find a black Cosmo school, and while they are teaching you um, chemical services, those schools don't teach you color. They don't go in depth. So it's like a yin and a yang. The white schools will teach you. You can close that up. The white schools will teach you color and cut. The black schools will teach you relaxer, some color, but barely cut. So it's a give and take. And I'm going to be quite honest. What school would I prefer to go to and learn from? The white school. You know why? Because I can learn chemical. I can learn relaxer by reading and by finding the brand that works for me and then taking their continued education. But cut and color is a universal thing. And really and truly, color was built on Caucasian hair, not ethnic hair. So if you don't understand color theory, from that standpoint, you're gonna always be behind. Always. Color is the most complicated. Relaxer is not. All you need to know is how to apply it, when to apply it, when not to apply it, and know the brand that you're using. Color is universal to every single, even black, white, Indian, I don't care. Once you know color theory, then you know everything. And I'd rather start off multicultural than automatically I'm a black stylist. I don't want to just be a black stylist. Yes, you fall into the realm, but I like to do multicultural here. I like to prove people wrong. That if this white lady sits in my chair, that I can give her the same look that that lady can give her over there. Versus my black clients, same thing. You don't roller brush ethnic hair. You barely get a chance to be creative with hair color on ethnic hair or textured here because we can't sustain it. So which one is gonna allow you to have more experience? What's roller brush when you got the um, blow dryer and you're mm -hmm. rolling the brush they curl in? Mm -hmm. So you learn that on Caucasian hair because that's how they dry their hair. Then at the same time you learn flat ironing because they flat iron their hair. You learn color, they color their hair, they get crazy with those kinds of things. You can also do a relaxer on their hair, they use that to go curly, you can do a perm, they use that to go, well, perm, relaxer. Same thing. So you get more experience while dealing with that particular so demographic. That for sure. Uh, Crystal, someone asked if she's getting a trim. She is. Yes, she is. And let me be honest, in school, you not you don't really work on clients with relaxer. Most beauty schools, you're using nothing but cholesterol. And you apply you start smelling like cholesterol. You start when you go home and all you can smell is it on your clothes, your hands, and you never want to see it again when you leave school. That's how much you use. 
because all they teach us is application. Application, application. And the craziest thing is they still teach you how to do permanent wave because that is what most cosmetology tests are on. It's not about anything other than permanent wave and layers of the skin and nails. That's it. Mm. I used to go to this lady years ago. She stopped. She developed um, copper tongue real bad. She couldn't do it It becomes anymore. normal. I have it a little bit, but not as bad. That's why I also stopped roller brushing so much. Mm -hmm. She worked in this salon where it was a barber and women, and mm -hmm. they did both hair. Mm -hmm. But one thing I have noticed, white folks get their hair done every week. Mm. Actually, other day. actually, no. Yeah. That is the client that I don't want. <laughs> I'm going to be honest because, okay, Caucasian people, white people, whatever you want to include, right? When they get their hair done, I've witnessed it. They come and get a hair color once a year. It's only higher end people mm. that have that, that dollar. And even them, they'll stay home and wash their hair and flip it and go and they don't care about their roots. They don't care about that kind of stuff. Whereas for us, it's a huge contrast because our texture changes uh -huh. when we gray. Uh -huh. Theirs doesn't. It stays uh -huh. the same. So one lady, like there's this older lady, she used to come when I was in another salon suite and she'd get her hair colored. She'd be there for six hours. The service might have cost her $400 and she's like, okay, I'll see you next February. Okay, we were in August. <laughs> <laughs> like, see me next February. <laughs> So that tells you that they don't go to the salon that often. often. No. Mm -hmm. they, they'll they stay home. They don't do treatments. They don't do what we do. They don't do deep conditioners. They do keratin. And they do that once a year. You know, I'm going to get a light. I want to get some lightener done, mm -hmm. some, some highlights, okay? Once a year. So you got to have a million clients to survive. Mm -hmm. That's why every company... Every hair care company right now, people think that they're black owned and they're white owned because white owned companies know that as African Americans, we spend more money on hair products. Mm -hmm. White people don't spend money on hair products. They will go and buy suave. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. All they need is something that's going to clean their hair. Mm -hmm. They don't care about anything else. They know that we're going to go and buy something based on porosity. Oh, my hair is so dry, so now I'm going to go buy eight different products because they said this works. Oh, I need a protein. Oh, I need a, um, a, a root color, so I'm going to get some semi-permanent color. All these things. Clairol is a white company, and they make all ethnic hair color products. All right, so we are done with her press. I'm going to do her hairline, which I pray that she does not sweat first, so I think I'm going to wait to do her hairline. <laughs> I'll do her trim first, and then I'll do her hairline at the end, just in case, because if I do it now, and she has a flash, I got to do it again. <laughs> I'll do my best. There's nothing you can really do about it, so we just, so just let that go. It's fine. Well, this just came. This, this location is new. So this, it wasn't this before. It hasn't been here in a year yet, I don't think. Chin up. Right Chin up all the time. I remember when that exit right there wasn't there. Oh, wow. You went, you went deep. <laughs> <laughs> I've always known that exit. <laughs> I've, I've always seen that exit. I've always known that exit. Yeah, that's what I told her. I thought that's what it was. But she said it was exit 18. Mm -hmm. I don't even know exit numbers, so... <laughs> When people are like, oh, I'm on exit 72. Where is that? <laughs> Give me the street name, honey. I don't, I don't know numbers. I don't know numbers. Yeah. Carol said that she didn't hear your response about your hands. Or how I keep them, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I don't do anything, you guys. Like, I, my hands have absorbed a billion relaxers. I don't, I don't do anything. I got man hands. So they're probably just tough as nails. Yeah. Like, they are man hands. Yeah, like, my hands are hard and I don't know, nothing. Water, soap. I barely wear lotion, so if you ever notice, my hands are always ashy. So, <laughs> no, how I keep them so nice, I guess, yeah. and I do so many chemical oh, service. Oh, I you were service. She said the lady caught from rolling. Oh no, I have a little bit of carpal tunnel, but it's not so bad. Is that like arthritis? Kinda, I guess. It's inflammation. Yeah, I had surgery. 
Mine didn't act up until I got pregnant with all that water. Yeah, it, that's when well, it got bad. It was swollen and I was losing feeling in these two fingers mm -hmm. because I was in customer service so long and typing. Um, it got real, real bad. It's the fingers, I couldn't type. And I was working for American Express at that time and it was like, uh uh, we need you to work. So they sent me to a doctor and he was like, well, 30 years in customer service, you developed top of tunnel. Mm -hmm. I'm typing so much. Yeah. And he tried some things to release it, but mm -hmm. it didn't work. I had to go into the nose. And so even I, the surgery yeah. doesn't stop. Nope. It, it nope. just helps to relieve. But the inflammation never the comes back. It comes back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's showing up mine's was I in it, mine's was pregnancy induced carpal tunnel. I didn't have it naturally. It was once I got so big and I had I was retaining so much water, it just got bad. I would just stay up and cry all night. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing you can do. It mm -hmm. just has to relieve itself. You know, that stuff works because it's in it's so it's it's like it feels like it's in your bone like you can't do anything about it the only thing that i notice now is that my my fingers fall asleep a lot faster i'll just be sitting there with my hand in one position for like a minute and now my whole hand is not like your fingers it's a blood flow yeah yeah it's a blood flow mm -hmm. so that's why i don't roller brush i don't do roller sets and all that anymore sanjay asked um any suggestions on dry hair and itchy skin Scalp hair, uh, she sweat due, due to hot flashes. Um, for the dry itchy scalp, you can use the Soothe and Balance, which we have a, a actual bundle called Dry Itchy. And then for the moisture, you can do either the Dry Brittle bundle or the Moisture Repair bundle, and it, they both give you what you need. You want it straight or curly? I'm straight. Okay. Both bundles will give you what you need. And I responded. Someone asked if you want to set your clients, and she said no. I do not. Mm -hmm. I've done enough roller sets in life. I will never. I have no want. I still have my rollers, but I don't use them. I, I just can't throw them away. Mm -hmm. That's like my my um my stove. I still have my stove, but I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> I don't want to. It just hot. It's hot. It's just, look. For your um your hot comb? I have yeah, I have that before Marcel irons, period. This is Marcel is across the table. Like I keep it just in case all all of this doesn't work one day. Then I can use it. Uh-huh. It's good to keep. Mm-hmm. And you invest so much in them. Like those I those know, irons not are cheap. not cheap. You have to buy each one. Uh -huh. So I I that basket is full of Marcel irons and flat irons. If if I was to ever really go in that basket and show you guys how much of a uh, iron junkie I am you guys be like wow you're such a hypocrite <laughs> <laughs> so you guys like to hoard product I hoard tools mm. I have tools at home in boxes I have tools here I keep buying tools I'm always looking for the next best thing So I'm curling her and pinning her um, because she's fine in texture, even though she's low porosity, you guys, which is what I suspect she is. She has a fine texture of hair, so it's flat. So how you combat that is you give her a slightly tighter curl and then you pin curl it and allow it to set. Setting means allow, allow it to cool and then you can comb it out and style it and her wrap will last a lot longer um, if her her maturity does not catch it first. <laughs> but her hair feels really, really soft. I don't know if you know J.R. Mars. Mars, do you think I should save my hair or have my hair saved? I, I couldn't answer that question for you, baby. I have to see your hair to answer that question. I appreciate that you want my opinion though, but I can't do anything unless I see it. It's Junior Morris. Gender? Junior. Junior Morris. Yeah, I'm not good with the, the names. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just found out what Pac's real name is the other day. So we've been calling him Pac all this time. Pac 93. Yeah. 
And Pac is actually his initials for his name. Paul Cook, wait, Paul Allen Cook II is his name. Really? Yeah, it's called my husband Sam, and my daughter Sam, that's the initials of their name. See, you think that it was mm-hmm. never known? Yeah, I'm with that. That's her initials, S A M. Her oh. first and her last name, Sam. So it's still that Sam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like my daughter, ATM. She ain't got no money, but that's her initials, ATM. <laughs> well, she better have some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put your next layer. Question about she was asking how you keep your hands up because it was a lot of skin because her hands are always dry. Mm-hmm. Mine are always dry. Especially when you always stay at you, no matter how much. I put lotion on before I came upstairs. You know how much you want to put lotion? I do not like lotion. I don't like lotion. I don't like the way it feels. Yeah. It doesn't feel fresh. Like you feel like it's clammy. It's sticky and good. Yeah. Especially if you sweat. I mainly use oil, but I just put the lotion on my hands only. Right. And even the oil, I do it as soon as I get out of the shower and I have dry skin. Mm-hmm. I put it on my hands and it's still a little wet. I'm going to work in the medical field. I'm always washing my hands, so it just was useless to even try to keep it. Does it work in the medical field? Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. a little bit. I've done everything. I'm a jack of all trades, which I just mm-hmm. get bored quick. Well, my office is open year-round, but I'm not there year-round. I hire somebody to be there two days out of the week yeah. when the season gets slow. Oh my gosh, it'll be busy. We're going to start. They, um, they opening up on the 2nd this year. Okay. Just another lady that I've seen a couple weeks ago. I'm 75. I don't know much about texting and thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> my kids thought my th- my kids think that it's so funny that my dad uses emojis when he talks. Oh. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's like he's old. They call him old. My mom tried that. It was funny too because she was putting the wrong emojis with everything, and she didn't know what LOL was, and now she's using it all the time. <coughs> It's not even funny. Mm-hmm. Like she would be like, hi, how are you, LOL. Like, well, you don't put it after everything you say. LOL just means you're laughing out loud. All right, so we have a question here. Do you have any knowledge on infant hair? My baby is three months and he has cradle cap. I want to cut it down. I want to cut down the straight pieces so I can get to the scalp. I need help. I've been moisturizing and oiling it. Just That's the problem. Yeah. You've been moisturizing and oiling. It's cradle cap. Yeah, just leave it. Cradle cap does not require a lot. Use a toothbrush and some baby shampoo and clean it off and just that's control. That's it. Mm-hmm. All that stuff that you're putting on his hair at three months old, he's absorbing all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I would just leave it. Just make sure that you're cleaning it. You know, I wouldn't even cut it. I'm I'm, I'm real island. You don't mm-hmm. cut babies' hair before, before they speak they and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's like some people say before they speak, others say before, before they, they walk. walk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I I ain't cutting nothing. You you worrying about too much. Put a little, little oil on there and go about your business. Like, nah. All right. So Junior Mara said, do you think I should love a girl with no hair? Absolutely. <laughs> some people can't control the fact that they don't have any hair, you know. You know, there's some people born with alopecia universalis, yeah. meaning they have no hair mm-hmm. on their entire body. Mm-hmm. 
They have no eyebrows. They have nothing. That doesn't make them that they're not a person. That just does, makes them unique. Uh -huh. Y'all, you know men get too caught up in, oh, I want her to have this. Well, we want you to have a lot of things, too. <laughs> we want you to be tall, dark, and handsome. Some of y'all light-skinned stubby and short. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are done with the press and the cuts and all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb. You can use this one or the rake, which mine's tall back here. I got to wash it. Um, and just use that to just comb through her hair. But you see how it just gives her the volume? That's why I like to do the pin curl because it gives you a lot of volume. Oh, that appearance of volume when your hair is really fine in texture. That's pretty. Thank you. Um... Rhonda Morales says um, she is losing a lot of hair and her scalp gets very dry and thin. Which products do you suggest? You got to kind of tell me why you're losing a lot of hair. What is it that you're doing? Medication, health, and then hair is dry and what? Dry and thin. Thin? Thin. Mm -hmm. Well, let's start with why you're losing a lot of hair. That tells us why it's thin. All right, we're going to spray her with a little Sebastian Shaper. That will just keep her hair in place. Seen that. No yeah, deal. I, I have no. 11 grandkids. I do their summer shopping in the winter. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. have the budget. So next winter, um, I mean next summer, it'll be the winter clothes I'll be getting. Mm -hmm. I have the budget. I have 11. And one more on the way. Oh, good. I'm going to show you mine. Shoot. Okay. Walmart site? Mm -hmm. All right. Like the beach bags. This Junior. Don't answer. <laughs> Um, Ask that stupid um, question. Don't even <laughs> answer them. Miss Stevens, I'm ready for you, dear. Fate asks Dealing with thyroid issues, should I stay natural or get a relaxer to manage dryness and brittleness? And you have to do a consultation for me to know that, babe. There is no way for me to tell you that. Oh, it just happened that way. Is your class under a different name? Yeah, it's under... My husband, I think. What's the last one? Um, Stevens. S T E P H. Yeah, that's. Can it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm searching. I'm searching. No. I'm searching. <laughs> that made him use his car. <laughs> so if you have a tap on it, you'll tap it here. If not, you'll insert it there. I'm gonna give you cash. Oh, okay. So then it's just the uh, one fifty. The what? Ready, Mama? Let me put your color on. Oh, I can sit right here. Thank you, my dear. Ring off because this phone will ring all day. I 
I know someone's on because I need to hear people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. My phone is always on silent. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm turn this ringer back on, then y'all gonna be saying, Can you please turn your ring off? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm always you know what's the crazy thing? It doesn't bother me because I hear my phone all day long. Yeah, and it seems like when I'm home, like, don't nobody call me. Nobody, yeah, nobody calls me. Like, everybody calling me all of a sudden. Okay, if I'm at work, all of a sudden my phone won't stop ringing. But when I get home, I even look at my phone like, Well, yeah, me too. Nobody calls me. Did I miss something? All right, thank Listen you. Listen to my love schedule. Oh, don't forget to get your card. Yeah. I will go online and get me another appointment. This one like is cut, Mason. Yeah. She didn't get it? No. The flat iron. No, we got one flat iron left. Oh, yeah, if you have got a specific star on the back, it would have been Oh, I don't use them anyway. I don't have But it's burn. a gift inside there, too. Oh, like, okay. It's a service. You may get a free okay. treatment or something. Yeah, the next, I think the next time we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, you should rock that for a while. That's really nice. You're yeah, but as, I, you know, I'm, I'm lazy. Um, so, <laughs> but have a safe trip. Safe, thank thank you. Thank you. When you get back, Chris, I'll see you next okay, time. Okay, my love. Have a good holiday. Before. Merry Christmas. You too. Happy New Year. Uh, Cheryl Chapman said um, she has alopecia. Her hair is dry. Uh, where did it go? Her hair is dry. She washes it, conditions. And she has a bald spot at the top, and I guess she said it's hidden. Thin. Some on the sides. What product should she use? It's been trial and error. She has alopecia, bald spots bald spot. on the side, mm -hmm. well, on the top, and thin on the sides. Okay. Um, and the hair is dry. But outside of your alopecia, what's your porosity? Are you natural? Are you relaxed? Alopecia is just a, a thing. It's not the whole basis of your hair care. So I need to know like the other characteristics of your hair. Are you natural? Are you relaxed? Do you have a texturizer? Do you wear your hair? Do you not wear your hair? What's your lifestyle like? Try to be as as brief but as descriptive descriptive as possible. This is number five. Mm -hmm. Shelly said, Crystal, I did the same process you are doing now, and I rinsed with cold water, and my hair tangled bad. I also had my hair in a ponytail for three weeks. What did I do wrong? Can you read? Can you repeat that again? This is from Shelly. Mm -hmm. She did the same process that you're doing now. I'm not sure which one of the processes she's referring to, Shelly. So you can clarify which process. Um, she rinsed her hair with cold water and it tangled really bad. But before that, she had hair in a ponytail for a few weeks. What did she do wrong? Let, let me. Let me go I gotta go read the question myself. Cause I'm like super lost. Dryer number two. Mm -hmm. Hold on. You said Shelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me go find Shelly real quick. Shelly. I did the same process you're doing. Okay. What process? Right. And I rinse with cold water. Oh, maybe she's talking about your process. Mm. And my hair tangled bad. You didn't comb your hair out first. You have to detangle first. So if you're taking out braids, Right when she, when she came, if you guys noticed, her hair was not severely tangled. It wasn't still in the same position as when she first got it done. That is like the number one thing. So if you had them in a long time, then you need to slightly detangle your ends first, and then do that 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 model after. I'm hoping that's what you're talking about. And then detangle as you go. Your hair probably got tangled because you didn't detangle it <coughs> as you went. Yeah. So I'm applying a semi-permanent color. I'm actually applying it to the roots first. Um, I'm applying it to her roots first because that is where the resistance is. That is where the gray is. Applying it to her ends is just going to um, revive that color that she already has. But that's really not the work. The work is to make sure that those stubborn hairs are covered first. Susan asks, I have double cowlicks around the crown. Mm -hmm. How can I control that to prevent separated hair during the day? You cannot. Cowlicks are your body's natural um, change of direction of hair growth. There's nothing you can do to a cowlick that will fix it. You can't even relax it to change it. So you just kind of work around it. 
That's a permanent thing. Okay, so Cheryl said, um, let me go back. Cheryl is the one with alopecia, dry hair, bald spot, mm -hmm. and tinning on the side. Um, so she said her hair is natural and um, no hot curlers or blow dryers to her hair. I braid it after I wash it and that's really it. So her hair is natural. Okay, and she's standing on the side. Ball spot, hair is dry. Uh, number one, I'd say definitely go to your dermatologist get some form of culturing done on your bald spot so it can kind of give you a definite answer on what form of alopecia, if any. Um, you can also look at your family tree, if your mom, your dad, if any one of them were, were thinning really bad at, at certain points or if they're thin now. Um, outside of that, you know, washing it and braiding it down, that's great. But what are you doing to actually like treat your hair? Like, are you treating your hair? Are you deep conditioning are you doing the things that it needs for care other than just a quick wash and, and braid it up and she said that she's afraid to use relaxers or color her hair because of it being dry and it feels really coarse and she she has diabetes and tolerance so yeah i mean if you want a relaxer if the hair is dry now it's, it's gonna be dry that's just kind of where you are like if you have a lot of gray hair gray hair has its own texture and it can be very dry it can be very wiry so i don't think that's going to change anything if anything being relaxed to me some it requires you to care more for your hair than being natural it really does like and when i say care for your hair more because you know mentally that your hair is fragile it's relaxed whereas when you're natural people do exactly what you're doing wash and twist it up and they go and then they say that that's care that's not care. You're not combing your hair every day. You're not manipulating it every day. You're not stretching it out. You're not doing any of that. So I would definitely start with dermatologists if you can. Um, from there, I mean, you can do the hair repair just to kind of strengthen your hair if need be. For the dryness, I would say moist repair. You need to start doing some deep conditioning, but you also need to know your porosity. If you're low porosity, that's going to be the culprit and tell you why your hair is so severely dry and now what it really needs. So that's kind of the roadmap. Start start with that. All right. What's a cowlick? A cowlick is a change of direction in the growth of the hair, the growth pattern of the hair. So I have cowlicks in my eyebrows, and I'll show you guys in a second. So it is easier to show you in eyebrows and than it is in some people's hair. Like a lot of Caucasian people, they have a lot of calyx. Like their direction changes. It's like a little circle. So this hair might be going down. Right. And then they have one, one little patch that goes up. That's a cowlick. Got it. Fun fact. I didn't know. All right. So let's see. Ruby Bailey, do you put hair color on very thin do you put on hair color very thin? Do you put the layer on very thin? Hair no. Color? When you're when you're coloring um, gray hair, you, you need to saturate. Any color you're doing, you need to saturate. It really doesn't matter what color. You have to saturate. That's a nice color. Hmm? It's a nice color. Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you, dear? I'm what are we doing today? Arm. Okay. Relaxing? Yes. Right. You want a jerry curl? No, I do not. Okay. Um, Miss Murphy said she has low porosity with fine hair and she lost the color. Jesus. But every time she colors her hair, it falls out and she's natural. Is there anything she can do? She loves to color, but every time she colors her hair, it falls out? Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're using permanent colors because semi-permanent colors do nothing to the hair but give it the appearance that it's even healthier. It's the deposit only. So you probably need to stop permanent coloring or stay away from those colors that you find in the drugstore that come in a box. That's permanent color. That means you're overlapping, you're probably just over-processing as well, and that's what causes a lot of hair thinning and a lot of shedding. 
those of you that love those box colors it's a big part of it abigail asked the grow it serum stimulate dormant hair follicles does it stimulate dormant hair follicles the grow it serum does the growth serum help stimulate dormant follicles? Mm -hmm. It's not alopecia, like around the neck. Well, here, let's start here. If the alopecia is scarred, that's not gonna do anything. So that's what I see you got a little here, here, here. That's what is the biggest thing. Is it scarred or not? If there's no scarring and you still have live follicles growing out of that area then wherever those follicles are, yes, the growth, the super growth serum will definitely help because it helps to clean the bulb and reduce the inflammation. But if it's scarred, nothing is going to help. I know it here is super thin. It was kind of bad. She said it's not scarred. It was too painful, I couldn't take it. Those injections hurt. It's not scarred. Okay. So if it's not scarred, then you have a possibility. Um, it'll definitely help more than hurt. Well, I feel like I got blue from that. That's really you get a little sprouts there, mm -hmm. yeah. This is, of course, it's thinner than everywhere else. That happens. So she is one day. <laughs> I'm gonna retire one day. Hairstylists think they can. That's why they don't invest in nothing at the beginning and then they become 60 years old, burnt out and still have no retirement money. You can't retire if you wanted to. All right, so all I'm doing you guys is just distributing the color through her ends which is why I said the roots are really the most important. And then you put so much color on that it'll just kind of make its way to the end. And then I just take a comb and just kind of comb through so I can make sure that everything is covered. And then remember, if the hair is not touching the color, especially gray hair, if it's not actually touching the color and saturated in color, it will not color. So if you have that super wiry gray, you can um, put a little plastic wrap around your hairline just to kind of hold it down, which that's kind of like a pro tip for those of you that have the gray hairs that like to stick up. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. Front piece. Okay, that keeps coming up. But just in that front part. 
So layer seven, but it'll just be right in front. Yeah. So we're going to do a relaxer. Miss Murphy asks, what's a good semi-permanent brand to use? For gray or non-gray? Miss Murphy, for gray or non-gray? And then Nela Smith, is there really a such thing as a detangling shampoo? Um, yeah, if it has a lot of slip in it, it is. Definitely. There's some shampoos that detangle you better, well, that detangle you better than others, but just because it says it's a detangling shampoo doesn't mean that it's gonna automatically be for your hair type. All right, Miss Murphy said her hair is non-gray. This is the one with the semi-permanent brand to use. Um, I mean, for semi-permanent, I like jazzing. Um, beautiful browns. They're all made by Clairol. So if you go to any Sally's, any of their semi-permanents work fine. But I would, I would stick with like jazzing or um. Beautiful brown, or even big in Bayesian, whatever you want to call them. They make a semi permanent. I like theirs too. All right, I'm going to relax her, but she has highlights, so I'm just going to coat her highlights with leave in conditioner, even though she has a lot of growth. So I'm not really worried about overlapping. I'm still just going to protect her highlights as best possible. Tanita said, uh, Crystal, my hair has grown out a lot since I've been using the straightening bundle kit and the Elite Hair Care Repair and Grip Balm, and she can twist her hair now. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for the feedback. Sharon Byron says, my hair is white at the roots. I was told by my stylist that the only color to use on my hair is black. Oh, okay. Is it possible to use another color? <laughs> Absolutely, but it, once you start using black, it's a stain. Black is not the easiest color to get rid of. So that's probably why she said that, because black is a stain. So it's not gonna go lighter, if that's your question. You're stuck in the black. You just have to kind of let it grow out. All right, so I'm gonna put her relaxer on. I've just sprayed leave-in conditioner um, on her highlights which is just a little added protection for the highlighted area. I'm not going to be overlapping on the highlight, but just in case we're not perfect. So some added insurance for me. And I'm also using a mild um, relaxer on her. Okay, makes sense. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading the text. <laughs> <laughs> and then this relaxer is actually fiber guard. My favorite. Feel your thing, see if it's, if it's dry. Your own prosthetic. No. Can you just turn on the, the top one. She's gonna reach around you. Yeah, just turn sorry. the top part of that dryer. How long you want to put it on for? Just turn it on. It don't matter. I just need the lace to be dry. <laughs> So 
So let's see, where's everybody from? There's over 500 people on here. Number one, there's over 500 people, and there's only 266 thumbs up. So I need everybody to close your chat and go and hit that thumbs up button for me. Before I answer another question, I need to be at least, at least 350 thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. We have New York in the house. Charlotte, North Carolina. Long Island, upstate Chicago. All right. North Carolina. Alabama, Indiana, California, Jamaica, Maryland, Trinidad, Chicago, Georgia, Texas. Man, all over the all world. All over. Mm -hmm. Orlando, Pennsylvania, Alabama, Detroit, South Africa, Portland, Oregon. Arkansas. Where? Oh, Arkansas. Manhattan. Alright, we're only about 33 likes away. So if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button, close your chat and go and hit that thumbs up button before we answer any more questions. Ohio. Connecticut. Michigan. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Georgia, Mississippi, Virginia. Biloxi. I know I was at once. I'm looking at it like Biloxi here. <laughs> Dallas. 19 thumbs up to go. It shouldn't be that complicated. It's over 500 of you on here. <laughs> Delaware. Douglas, Georgia. Oh, I have no order Georgia. Douglas, Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. It's outside of Atlanta. It's outside. Oh, it's outside. Oh, okay. It's like Douglasville and all those mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. Lawrenceville. Um, Neela Smith, I tried a new conditioner. Hold on. We ain't get 350 yet. Oh. Hold that thought. Oh. We need to be at over more 350 thumbs up, thumbs up before I answer any more questions. We have Seattle, Washington in the house. Philadelphia, Kansas. All right, thank you. 351. You guys just make it a habit when you guys come into the live. The only thing I ask you guys to do is to hit that thumbs up button. It's free, it costs you nothing. Uh, all right, now we can ask the question. All right, let me see. I'm not going to try anymore. All right, Neela Smith, I tried a new conditioner and it felt almost like I had put a relaxer on my head because it started warming up. I am now reluctant to try any new conditioner. What can cause it to get warm like that? Um, I couldn't tell you, number one, because none of my conditioners do that. So that sounds like it's a question for the company that you were using. So I'd reach out to them and have them answer that question for you. Kimber G, what's the difference between a Brazilian blowout and a relaxer? 
A relaxer is a relaxer. A Brazilian blowout is a Brazilian blowout. Relaxer is a chemical process. A Brazilian blowout is another type of chemical process. <coughs> That's it. Tanisha Duncan. Hello, everyone. What is the difference between the Hydra Strength Leave-In versus the More Superior Leave-In? The Hydra Strength Leave-In is also a detangling spray. And the Hydra Strength Leave-In doesn't have as much emollient or moisturizing properties as the Moist Repair. Moist Repair is thicker. So when you spray it, like it, it, it coats more like a... I'm not gonna say a lotion, but it, it's thicker than the Hydra Strength. Hydra Strength is a little more, slightly more um, runny in consistency, which is most detangling type sprays, which is why we also use it as a detangler. Whereas the Moist Repair, it's made to coat the strand for those people who are lacking in moisture. That's why we call it Moist Repair. Hydra Strength can be used on relaxed or natural hair, low or high porosity. Moist repair, I would not use that on my fine textured, high porosity people. Claudette Washington asks, what can I use to thicken my hair? Or what type of hair do you have? Natural hair, perm mm -hmm. hair? There you go. Good question. So what can you use to thicken your hair? In your mind, your hair could be thin. In my mind, your hair could be fine in texture. So there is no thick. So you got to give us a little more detail about your hair. but not super city life. That's why I left Apaka. It's too city? Too city. I left really? Miami. I left Miami. Apaka is not city at all. So I come up here and then like I can't do this. Apaka is the country. <coughs> think so? Sanford. Mm -hmm. Sanford is not bad. Mm -hmm. Sanford is coming up. Sanford is coming up now. Yeah. Leesburg is country. Very country. Very country. Super country, super super discriminative, super everything. I love it. It's I nothing out there. I love it. In the village, I go through the village sometimes. I ain't nothing oh, you're watch. deep, please. I know. I know. I know. I know. I love it. Oh, you're I deep. Love you're it. deep, please, bro. When you say you go through the villages, or you're way out there. Yeah, she's way out there. You're she out is. there where they're just developing now. Yeah, my house was um, newly developed. Um. All right, so back to Claudette with her hair. Trying to, she's trying to take her hair. Her hair is thin, and she's taking medication for alopecia. She has alopecia due to medication. So her hair is thin. She has alopecia due to medication. If you're still using the medication that's making your hair thin, then there's really nothing at face value that's going to change that. So if you stop, vitamins. yeah, I mean, even then though, because mm -hmm. remember the medication is going to always take precedent. Take yeah. So if there's an alternative, what I would do is discuss the medication with your physician that prescribed it. Maybe there's an alternative. If you just recently stopped the medication, it has to run its course. It has to still cycle through. So it's not just, a, oh, I just stopped it. So it should be better by now. No, it can cycle for years depending on how long you were using it. Um, Tracy Davis, is a Japanese straightener healthy? Nope. I have a client that I just actually did yesterday or the day before, a young girl. She's always on here. You can look at her hair. We're cutting it off right now over time because she got a Japanese straightener and now her hair is shedding and breaking. It's brittle. It's hard. It tangles. Mm -hmm. Like It's called a Japanese straightener on purpose. It's made for Japanese people because they have the most resistant texture hair on the planet. 
So if you look at, at Japanese people, you can count the follicles on their head. It's very seldom you see a fine textured Japanese person. Their hair stands off of their head. So that is why that straightener was created because there is nothing that lays their hair down. And even when they do that, it still sticks up off of their head. They're Japanese. Many girls are so black. They're so jet black. It's just black. They're actually this born with extra black. Resistant and dark. Kimber, do you work on clients with scalp conditions? It depends on the scalp condition. Not every client I can work on. Now, if you're just talking about like dermatitis or something, absolutely. Any stylist can. But it depends. Certified to tell you if you have alopecia or not, babe. You can sit in my chair. I do not have that MD on my name to certify <laughs> that you have alopecia. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is apply a very, um, which is one last strip of adhesive on her front here where I know um, she starts to lift really quickly. And that's because the hair grows in that area. So I'm just putting a, a good layer here, allow that area to dry, and then we will apply her unit. Yesterday, I started on this iron. Hey, Shadi. Enjoy. What I do? Wrap it around the cord. So, watch me. Just put the, put the iron there. And you just roll this around and just gotta keep pulling it out. Just roll it around. The most tedious process they ever created. Yay. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I still have six more to go. It keeps them from tangling. Yeah, I sure did. I was falling asleep. I was bored. I only read the comments. What you What you doing? Um, you working? Um, 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 what they say? I'm delegating. <laughs> okay, you gonna you can delegate on this iron too? Let me read. Let me help y'all. I love my job. Let me start you off. This is listen. If I have to do this, we're gonna do one a year. So we just pop it on. I would never take them off again. Never. And then you just roll them out. Laura, no, it does not. Hmm? Huh? You, you had them on and took them off? No, these are new. I have oh. some old, my old ones are in there. I would never take them off again. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying meaning I will never remove them. If you wanna, if you hold them like that, it will keep it from tangling around you. And then you can just put the iron on the ground when you get to the. Thank y'all so much. You see, teamwork, Mr. Dreamwork. If I'm the only reason why I'm not giving to you is because you have a relaxer right now. I'm just going to wait till you go under the dryer. I appreciate that. <laughs> you. Oh, my God. Yep, I'll read. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh-huh. Let me stay over here. <laughs> teamwork, people. Teamwork. Oh, I must tell you guys. Um... Oh, Lord. 
forgot to call her back. I must tell you guys, um, I built my points back up on my fetch. Oh, you did? Yes. So I used most of them, and now I'm back at 178,000. Oh, did you buy that TV? Not yet. Oh. I shall. I just, I like to keep my points over 100,000. It's like money. I keep looking uh -huh. at it. Uh -huh. It could only be 170,000. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm it out. Oh, Ain't no way. So yeah, you just do like this. It's easier, see? Like, well, just do like that. I, I had to figure it out. I was like, it got to be an easier way to do this one by one. A rope twist. Just get like you twist them there. Yes. Exactly. Rope twist. Y'all get these. Look. You just. I'm about to drop the iron, am I? Just like you twisting hair. Look at there. And then it's gonna go right in. Cause we were sitting here doing like this, like opening it up, doing one at a time, how Crystal showed me. You know, just twist it. This was a setup. <coughs> it was a setup. <laughs> you saw the setup coming up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me read. Dark, he said. Um, I wish I was there. I love that kind of tedious work. Come on over, Dorothy. Lots. Uh uh, son gotta give him. This don't make no sense. <laughs> I just showed you what happened. And no, you didn't, show, you didn't show me. You showed the I, audience. I did. Look. Look. So once you, it's going to tangle eventually, and then just do like this at the end. And once you get the end of the thing, look, just like you twist the hand, and it's going to automatically What's go fetch? in. What's fetch? Fetch is a, um, is a app that you um, download your receipts on, and consider how many points you get, you can buy stuff. On fetch? Yeah, you go to Walmart, like Target, oh, wherever. Okay, it's like okay. a coupon they give you, and you go and you purchase things. Right, okay, okay. Yes, fetch saves like money. Like this. Like you, just like you twist the head, it's going to eventually go in there. You ain't got to put it in there. Oh, okay. Well, my mind's tingling up so quickly. What do you mean? See how it's getting on? Oh, yeah, mine's doing that too. Oh, okay. And then once it do it too long, like Crystal you know how you love, braid hair. She loves you guys. She just... automatically go to your email, email it was it will automatically download really all it's right like, so i have a download fetch yeah you know, like Publix. i think it is Publix. um walmart some all places, of those go, places it's like electronic that, it, it goes yeah. directly to my email so Yeah. 
catch him. I surely have. She said that area that you already yeah. know. She's been scratching. It seems like your hair itch more when you know it's time for you to yeah. relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of good. <laughs> All right, I have fetch now. Oh, you downloaded it? Mm -hmm. Why did you open the phone? Get you. You gotta, you gotta download her. Did you go through leash. her? You didn't go through so her? So now you're not gonna Ooh, get paid, she and she's not gonna get paid. You. Can I, like, You can't just, do it over. Nope. I can, <laughs> I can go to Facebook. Ooh, and do what? I created with my Gmail, but I can. It's, it knows your phone. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, she gonna get well, don't you. Don't tell her, don't tell her, don't sure, tell her. We tried to cheat too, and do it that way. Like, okay. And you don't get any money. Download it by yourself. That's why I tell people to use my link. A lot of stuff. People think we just tell y'all to use the link so we can get paid. How much do you? How much do you get? It depends. Some days it's maybe four dollars, five dollars, and they uh, make it two dollars. Yeah, I think I'm looking at twenty so far. You get an extra. Did I know? Because it gave huh. me like I think it gave me like two thousand points when I went to Crystal automatically when I downloaded one. Really? And each day it changes. It'll say, hey, if you um, something kind of pretty mistake, you'll get you'll get four thousand, you'll get six thousand. Okay, so I can still enter her, a referral code. So she can still give me the code and I can still enter it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, hey, give me your code. <laughs> she don't know the code. She's gonna say you don't get the link, but you can try. I do stuff like that all the time. Like I have the gas up. The get up kind of air. The get up gas. You use it? I'm like that. the only one that promotes that. Mm -hmm. I use that out. It works. Yeah. It really works. I think I just cashed out. I had like two hundred and some points. I had like two hundred some points. Let me see what I got. I had one person that has five feet. When it gets That's over two hundred, I normally cash out. Normally, I feel like short. Well, I have so many apps on this phone. Not even including the apps. I have to keep on here for the grandkids so they like to play games. Uh -huh. If you um, on my channel, share. I mean, um. Like I just cashed out Friday, and already got like twenty one dollars. Wow! And I had two hundred, so yeah, it worked. Huh? Um, when you get a chance to go to my channel, shout out with Nancy, and look in my description box and tell me if you got any of those apps that's in my description box. Cause I only promote stuff that I use and believe in. I don't work. I don't just promote stuff. Okay. Shout out S A D E with the receipt. Okay, we gonna. Where is that at? On YouTube. On. I'm everywhere. Okay. Um. Sade, Sweetie. Um, um, what? Um, what? Um, I'm not very good with apps, so listen here. No, I, I think that's YouTube. No, you're yeah. not on YouTube, right? No, I'm not on YouTube. I thought she was just on YouTube. Why was I on YouTube? That's what I thought I saw her. Okay, but we're we on YouTube now, so we're going to like sit it right there. Okay, and you're going to let me do Yeah, it. you can take care of that. You see that? So all you gotta do is go in that search button, but you gotta get that cord done before Chris can get back. Right? Exactly. It's not too late. Oh no. Okay. 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 You know, and it comes in handy. Someday you might be broke and you need gas and you just cash up. And, and I've been using it for so long, I don't barely pay for gas anymore. I'm mm making -hmm. gas because That's I got so many, many gas. Like gas and I don't pay for it at all. Do I need a special code for that too or? I'm gonna give you a link if you go to my page. Crystal don't have that one. 
Hold on. Or gas up. Yeah. You don't have gas up? Mm-mm. I've been trying to get it to eat. Do you know how I think you're Amazon, don't upset me. I needed this package yesterday. Do you know my YouTube name? Not yet. I'm, I'm doing something. Oh, okay. I'm so not, I'm that, not that far yet. Is going to be delivered. I needed it last night. But anyway, you have to ask you the details. No. And you didn't see the results from all the users. They said they just added restaurants on it. They did. Because when I first started, I only seen stuff like Denny's and other stuff that I've never mm -hmm. even heard of. More restaurants now. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. ordering from Denny's like maybe once. But I don't really like it anymore like that. I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, I think it depends on what cook they have at the time. Because sometimes it's so good. And then other times it's just bland. Well, a lot of restaurant food is bland. That's mm -hmm. why they give you your own salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So they added they added um, grocery stores too now. They got um, Winn-Dixie. So far only Winn-Dixie. They didn't <coughs> they put public there. Um, but yeah, they got gas stations, restaurants. But I think the restaurants are based on your area, right? Yeah, what area you live in. Mm -hmm. It's like the gas station. Like fuzzy taco, I would never eat at that place again. What kind of food is they sell? They sell taco. They're right there at oh, 436. Taco. I would never eat there again. Why? It's not, it's not, I mm, not something I care for. Everybody has different tastes, so go yeah. ahead, like it. Go right ahead on. Um, you probably got so brainwashed like me with Taco Bell and when we taste a different type of, type of taco, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, everything ain't for everybody, you know. I might not like what you like and you right. might not like what I like. Yeah. Right. It's your taste good. Mm -hmm. That's all we, um, I try to, I found out our, our people um, open restaurants and stuff like that. I try to go patronize them or whatever, you know? Yeah. Um, and I had one guy, I saw him, on, he was on Instagram with me, and I went there and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. And I'm a seafood nut. I love seafood. Me too. The, the, the conk tasted like the grease was never clean. Uh, you know that taste? Yeah. Yeah. I, like yeah. they never clean the grease and um the lobster had no seasoning whatsoever. Yeah. So, you know, people was on there bashing them and all this and all that. And I, I inboxed them. I said, listen, I'm a sister just like you're a brother. I'm not going to bash you on Facebook because everybody taste buds are different. Right. I was totally 100% unhappy with the restaurant. And they say like hair salons, you have to go try it again to see maybe they just had a bad day that day. So I'm going to try you again just to see if that was a bad day for you. But if it wasn't, I'm going to let you know. Did you try it again? And it was still the same. Oh, God. But not about the taste, but you're right. Wow. Because that's why it's like people eat cold chicken pizza. My husband can eat it like that. Can't do cold pizza. Not cold chicken, I can do Really? Yeah, oh, if it's just like on a salad, then yeah, but just like eating. That's the best. Uh -oh. You sound like my cousin and husband. They tear up. Yeah. 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know why I can eat it on a salad, but not just straight up the fridge or something like that. Mm -hmm. I am not doing a whole piece of all. Mm -mm. Why? Even if they got all that tomatoes and all that coal, no. Mm -mm, that's just too much coldness. It is. It's disgusting. Amazon just messed up my day. Yeah. I have um, I have a box of pizza in the, in the refrigerator now that's been sitting there since Thanksgiving. Uh uh. Now you need a whooping. It's a box a of, is a frozen pizza? No, it's from Howie. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the trash. You got us. <laughs>
Listen, I don't have this thing right. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too long. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I know, so why are you, why are you, okay, you, so you that's. You trying to make it look full, your fridge or something? Is it empty? I'm just asking. <laughs> and I have this thing about garbage smelling. So if it's leftover food that I got to throw away, yeah, okay. I'll throw away the day before the garbage thing going to come. Um, I don't want my big garbage outside yeah, to okay. smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's, it's, that's why it's called garbage. That is why it's called garbage. You don't need to get too much yeah, about it. Like, I know, right? I don't yeah. change that. That needs to go. Change. It needs to go. It needs to go. Okay. It needs to go. Yeah. okay. I'm going to put it in the garbage today. It needs to go. When, when is the, when is your... My garbage um, may come on Mondays and Thursdays. Put it in Monday morning or Sunday night. I guess how many Mondays and Thursdays I'll pass since Thanksgiving. I, I know. <laughs> but if you put it in today, it is going to smell by Monday. Yeah. So put it in Sunday night or Monday morning when you're like strolling on out. Just Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to go. Yeah. Uh-uh. I hate you, though. It's, it's, it happens. I don't even know why I order pizza by myself because I can only eat two slices. Yeah. And they don't sell them like per slice, so Yeah, I get like the the, I get like the I, I can eat pizza like two days the same from the same box. I'll just put it in the oven, heat it up. Mm-hmm. And it's good. But after two days that's it's it. trash. That's like mm-hmm. Thanksgiving down people eat it all week. Sunday, man, Sunday night gets going around there. You need to get rid of that. See no 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 no. I can, um, some nice ham. Oh, I can eat some ham for, um, I don't eat pork, period. No shape, no form, no hot. Really? Mm-hmm. Crystal, I did a boo-boo, but I wanted to. Okay.
slightly the um B7. Sorry guys. Important call. Alright, so I was putting on her unit and it had to pull it back off because I'm like, oh my gosh, she has a huge gap in the back of her head to only figure out that we went too far up in the front. So <laughs> I pulled it off and put it on again. Um, and then I also had to dry it. I feel like it just did not. I don't know if the dryer is on cold. I think the dryer is on cold because this thing was still super wet. Um, and then it can't be wet when you put it on. So what did you say you made a boo-boo in it? Oh, not with the hair. But what was it that you made a boo-boo with? Mm -hmm. She signed up for Fetch Without Your Code. I didn't I know. Oh, wow. I You're did. going to be charged today really well. <laughs> I didn't Real know. Real disrespect. But I can still go back and add the code. No, you, you cannot. You have I'll to sign up that. with my code. With so you link. just gave Fetch my, my See, point. It so says I, referral redemption right here. I can still enter okay, the code. Okay, let me give it to you. Let's see, if this works, then I shall not charge you so much today. If it doesn't work, then you're going to pay triple because you just oh took triple my, my points. Let's see, refer plan. Yes, please. A-M, capital A. M, W, I'm an 8, sorry. W, 6, 1. Points are in your future. Did you scan the receipt? No? Let me give you a receipt. Hold on. Let me help you. I'm trying to save up mines, but I'll give you mine just so I can get your referral. Just notice the storm you said it was cold? Yes, just turn it all the way so that it's... Yeah. Uh -huh. Turn it all the way to the... The bottom one. Turn it to the right. right it just go all the way like it's going to be off. It'll look like it's saying off. Just that. I don't know if it's not high. I'm going to lift it up. Snap. Snap. The total, the store name, and the date. Got it. Okay. Yes. If any of you are on my fetch and you are you signed up and you didn't use my my fetch, I'm gonna be really mad and I'm gonna block you. I'm just playing. Don't do it. I'm gonna block you. Yes. There you go. See, you just got three thousand points. So that's three dollars. All right. So she just got her points, you guys, and I just got mine. I got saved. She got saved. Mm -hmm. So now she won't be charged three thousand dollars no, for her survey. <laughs> all right, you guys. So what I'm doing is Oh Lord, we forgot all about that chat. Um, I'm putting her unit down. Now on this side, I'm gonna put a little adhesive here. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive right there. What you getting done today, Mom? Here, I'm going to Beautiful. What you getting done today? Uh, a silk press one. Okay. Okay. What kind of cut? Like a bottle. Oh, just a bottle. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as she's done with her, she'll start you. Okay, thank you. How's it going? Pretty good. All right, you guys, so I'm adding just a little bit of adhesive right here. Mm -hmm. Let me, yeah, let me turn it off. I'm going to get it off. No, just turn your volume down on your phone. Okay. 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 Her unit seemed to shrink. Yeah, probably. So I'm going to stretch it down a little bit more on the side. So that's why I apply a little bit more adhesive, just so I can stretch it down some more.
you know, I'm not going to be at work late tonight. I'm not going to be at work for a long time at all. I won't be at work late. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know. Alright, mommy, I'll call you back. I'm at work. Alright. I will let you know, mommy. Okay. That's better. Miss, I promise you. Ne next time. I, I promise. Don't yeah. even try. I'm not. I'm not gonna try. This, this is the last. This is the last. Yeah. She's really trying it, you guys. She's, yeah. she's really doing the the um economy way here. Like she's really held on for dear life. That's right. Y'all see my eyeballs? I'll be making <laughs> miracles with this here. Listen. Real waves. All right, so while that's curing, which it's not gonna cure 100%, how long does it take to cure? 24 how long? 48. 24 to 48 hours, which we technically say 48 hours. At 48 hours, that means that she cannot go and wet her hair at any sort, any form, okay? We try to keep it as dry as possible because it will mess with the adhesive. It's very important. Okay. You all done? I did my work for the day. Uh-huh. <laughs> you've given the, you've you given your, I gotta cut it. You've given to charity. Thank you yes, so I much. Have. Look, I only need one client, two clients. If two, if you do one and you do one, then that means that we only have three left. Mm -hmm. Everybody's getting signed up to do a, because it takes you a whole appointment to do just one. <laughs> Sit down for me. All right, you guys, so. I'm actually going to, um, yo, I think you helped mine too. <laughs> oh, she had already had I'm filling in my little spaces. Teamwork makes the dream work, okay? I'm going to add some adhesive in the back. So how you do this, you kind of spot treat. So wherever you need a little more adhesive, you just add it there. She is now fully trained to add her own adhesive. Uh -huh. She knows how to do it. Um, so whenever needed, like if she has a little piece that comes up or, you know, she's able to fix that piece at home. She doesn't have to come into the salon every time she needs to fix a little crevice because it is still lace. So it's not going to be something that will permanently sit and you never have to do anything. You never have to touch it. Yeah, you do. It's just like anything else. There's maintenance, but she's a pro. She's definitely a pro now, right? Yeah. It's been what, since September? Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that all the areas are laying down nice and secured. And then I also use some of the hairs from the unit to blend into her hair. So like in these little areas here, I'll apply just a little bit of adhesive, allow it to cure and then put some of the hair from the unit into these places as well so that it just kind of covers up that little hole there i'm giving you guys two thousand dollars worth of training for free okay so while that cures i'm going to go ahead and start trimming up her nape getting that area prepared I can tell she no longer goes to the barber nope. to get her cut because they make you look like a man. Mm -hmm. I like it with the hair when I like, you know, do the roll. Mm -hmm. like. Um, you're just coloring. Yvonne, you didn't color? I don't know. 
No, right? You're not doing color, right? Okay, so you'll just spray her with some um, Hydra Strength Leave-In, comb her down, and she'll go under the dryer. Fifth. So I'm getting it? Yeah. Yeah. Fourth or fifth? I think it's the fifth. Uh, Ramona, it just depends on um, how long the actual piece lasts, the hair. It can last five months, six months. This is my fifth um, reuse mm -hmm. usage of the same piece. But crystal forbid. So She's not getting time, this one again, y'all. Y'all don't know what's up under these little curls that you guys see. So just, just know that it's not suitable for another service. Her mother even knows that. She's just uh -huh. going against us all. Yep. Crystal, I don't like this mirror. You say you don't? Mm -hmm. Why? It shows, all it shows everything. So imagine me who's always standing in front of mine.
God. You ready to twist up the cord for me? Mm -hmm. You ready to twist up my cord? I can't hear Are you ready to twist the cord for me? Put it back down. What you said? <laughs> Let me see how many times I have to repeat myself. I thought you said you didn't do that, Crystal. Well, I'm talking to Yvonne. She already owed me some money. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm putting a little bit of I'm putting a little bit of um curl definer for her sides and then we're going to use a sponge to just roll her in and she's all done. Well, I got to kind of trim it up, but for the most part she'll be all done.
said it's gorgeous. Somebody said my phone keeps scaring them online. <laughs> another comment I read this morning like that phone scares me I don't normally sleep with anything on that's fine. No, it's not. That's why it's so matted. But you tell me now, it's fine. I know, right? I have nothing to say. I'm your best yeah. client. I'll do better for the next mm. piece. Right, right. Okay. Okay. I feel like the next one will last even longer, longer. if you actually cover it. But okay. Yeah. Should I cover the whole head or... Because I did get some wraps, but they were falling off. Get the one that doesn't have the satin on the sides. It's just like... It's mesh. Those don't yeah, fall. I have the mesh, and they just—it's just plain mesh. Just plain mesh. Yeah. I mean, you can even use a satin scarf or something. Okay. You need to protect it. Like, okay. That's why it's so matted like that. Okay. Come here. Come on this side. Ready, Mama? Come sit in my chair. So she's done with her color. We've refreshed her um, earlier color. Her roots are nice and done. So everybody is going together. So I'm gonna blow her out to kind of expand her hair a little bit. Now you can go and still press from an afro that's not blown out, but I don't recommend it. So that's why I like to just go through and just apply a little bit of blow dryer heat to stretch those roots out so the press will be nice and easy. Sorry, Mama. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm 
If I can run my fingers through it, then we're good. Her hair feels great. So that's good. That is good. Alright, so I'm going to apply a small amount of Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. Just one squirt. Frizz Tamer also works well for those who are color treated because it puts a barrier on top of the color. So when you put your iron on there, it doesn't just automatically lessen the life of that color. So it's like a glaze. So for her nape, I'm going to use the three tenths of an inch black diamond iron, ironed, iron. Now if you have the edge masters, which is the titanium, titanium or ceramic, you can also use those, okay? Black Diamond is just the superior pro version of those irons. Okay, so we're gonna just straighten out her, call it the kitchen. And I showed you guys the other day, the easiest way to do that is to start from back here, and then you go up on the nape. So it actually stops you from getting burned, number one, and it covers everything in one shot. You guys see how smooth her hair is now? Look at that. Nice and smooth. On the other side. So this is how I get the kitchen. And you can do it all the way around if you want. You can do it by the ear. Anywhere that it's like super short, you don't want to run the risk of burning your neck or burning your ear, you can do it there. And then we'll go ahead and start our press. So if you guys don't know, she's considered to be what we call 100% gray, meaning all of her roots turn gray. When they grow out, they are gray. Then they go by percentage from 75%, 50%, and then 25% gray. So for her, she would be considered 100% gray, but the Clairol um, Gray Solutions actually works really well because her gray is not super stubborn, so it really absorbs that color nicely some people they'll absorb a little bit and then their roots are super light skinned and the rest of the hair is dark so it kind of just goes together so her hair does really well with that color
For her silk, if you guys notice, I'm putting a little bit of tension on her hair so I can ex expand or stretch her roots out so that I don't run the risk of burning her trying to get so close to the scalp because her hair just likes to go like this. It just rolls right in. So the easiest way, like a pro tip, I guess you can call it that, is to hold the hair with your two fingers and expand or give a little tension so that the roots will open up and then put your iron there. So now everything is nice and straight on the first try. And hold your ear. Okay. Happy Friday. Do you guys see how smooth her hair is? Nice and smooth. That your hair is actually very nice. They love your color. Thank you. Here. What's her name? Shade. Shade. Yes. Shade. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Shade.
food itself is really good. Yes, ma'am. For business I'm gonna trim her now.
straight. Morning, Body. Morning. You wrap your hair at night. Mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Well, that works for you. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I'm done with her trim. I'm gonna curl her up. I think I'm gonna make her curls just a little bit tighter so that she'll have some volume, especially in that crown area. That is the easiest way to take the attention from the eye of an area that is thinning is to cover it with volume. I'll move this one right here. When it's straight, yeah. Like when it's like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm called the Slayer. You guys are funny. All right, so we 
have finished um, curling her. I'm just gonna use a wide tooth comb to comb through. So what I did was I gave her a slightly deeper part than normal. The reason why I gave her the deeper part is so that I'd have a lot more coverage in the area where she has some thinning going on. Okay, so you're not paying attention to the fact that she has anything going on. Oh, I thought she was saying I wasn't going to hear you. No, I was talking about the client's hair. Thank you. She has a bob bob. She didn't want to tell me how I'm supposed to maintain this at home. Wrap your hair at night. Okay. And he's not gonna last forever. Wait. I mean, you can pin curl it too if you want. Just so it keeps the shape. Yeah. Anytime she say mmm, mm. when she say mmm, you know what that means. Uh uh. <laughs> so I kept hearing mmm, mmm. put any more pressure on her head. She's already <laughs> sitting here wondering how she's going to get it to look like this tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're going to talk about 10 days from now. I don't have no appointments for her to call January. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I ain't back here until January. I'm only here next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah, but you have no appointments the first part of January. Yeah, because I'm not here until the towards almost the second week of January. Mm. That's why. Oh, we'll figure Somebody it out. Somebody might cancel. Okay, you got like today. All right, my love. Yeah, I know. We'll figure it Says out. Says your hair looks nice and healthy. Thank you. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll throw the braids back in there. Keep throwing the braids back in there. Okay. Continue. You're going to be right where you started. <laughs> Yvonne, you can sit in with you. You're doing cardigan. Don't do that on my card. Excuse <laughs> 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 me. <laughs> Ooh, we are right here. Hey, you just booked whatever. I see. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to book, so. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't get a single process color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so depressing. <laughs> she looked okay. so depressed. She no. looked so depressed. And then we got a trim and we got some color. And where's the trim? And the trim. Gonna send you a receipt to your email. Mm -hmm. um, um, let me get you. Let's get your card. Uh, what was the uh, color? Um, no, uh, 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 I know. I'm just yeah. moving them. Up. Them up. She said I'm really not shuffling it up, so I'm gonna shuffle it now. Here we go. Let's <laughs> shuffle. Pick one. I hope you get it. You know what? Later. No, she didn't know. Oh, that looks sloppy. 
And then of course you can pick this little gift bag. And then you have the items. These are courtesy of Shadi. What the there's a gift bag there with a pillow, or you can get a planter or a rug. It's all your choice. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell and nobody's take the rug yet. That's one reason. And please don't tell my clients that. That's your nice. Yeah. Why not? Have a happy holiday, okay, baby? Ceramic one inch iron to curl her. That's the one inch black diamond. Um, she just got a relaxer today, so it won't really require a whole heap of heat. And then her highlights look stall, look marvelous. It's, they're still there. goddess polish rather than frizz tamer. Um, it's lighter in weight for her texture of hair. Is that a holiday? No. Okay. It's a Saturday, though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, but it's simple. I don't want nothing crazy. Okay. Cool. I just want a nice slip back ponytail. Oh, nothing okay. High. What time is the wedding? 12 noon. Mm. So you're going to do come Friday? Or are you trying to get this Saturday? Saturday. You know? Same day. Same day. So you have to just come early, early, early in the morning. Slip back ponytail. Yeah, like I have a picture of what I want. It'll work with the veil and the dress. Okay. Send me the picture. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, so me and my sisters went for Thanksgiving. I went home and we went and we found it. And you went to the NY? Yes. Best place to find it. Yes, I was looking here and I couldn't find You went anything. to Clinton? Uh Yes, I think. And that's where you got it? No. Where did I go when I was home? Um, this place called Estelle Bridal. Oh, okay. And we were just looking, and I tried on about eight different dresses, and then finally I was like, this is a dress. What color is it? It's like the off-white. You, um, you know, my, mm -hmm. my sisters are my bridesmaids. What color are these? They're in the pretty. sapphire. Sapphire blue. Ooh, this going to be pretty. I need to trim her, but I'm going to wait until after I curl her to trim her so I can 
really see my trim. It's not going to disturb the curls. It'll actually just accentuate the fact that she's already curled, so we'll be fine. Um, my oldest has her ups and downs. My youngest is thrilled. Um, they have a great relationship. My oldest is she's at that teenager stage where you just want to shake the sugar out of her every second. So, <laughs> mm, so you keep checking her. Oh God, do I? Can't stay single forever. Well, for her, she said until she moves out and goes to college. So I'm supposed to wait like three years. She's like, yeah, oh. okay. Well, that's nice. But they get along. That's good. Somebody said, I love Estelle. They have gorgeous dresses and shoes. It's 10 minutes away from them. Is it like a big store? Okay. Yeah, for like dresses. So it's like dresses they're known for. Okay. Kind of like prom yeah, they got prom so it's not like um Kleinfeld or mm -hmm. Kleinfeld or it's just for brides. My no. bride. They have like um like I said a lot of prom they're known for their prom dresses. Okay. Definitely. And then they have like a bridal section, which I was surprised I found Did you go anywhere else other than there? Yes, there were some other bridal shops that I went to and I was like, No, I'm happy with the dress up there. fixed on it and another bride was there trying on her dress and she was like do you have any more of that dresses and lady was like sorry she took the last one oh my she's like are you willing to i said no i'm not giving up my dress oh it was that good of a dress yeah like it just fits amazing like it's simple but i think elegant
Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. 1.30. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, I thought you meant client. I'm sorry. Oh, I have a ton more. Don't worry. I do. You see how long they take? They're aggravating. I'm sorry. No, I got it. I have a 1.30, but I feel like I'm missing a client. It's easy. You do it like you twist the hand. Yeah, but it's not when I don't even like repetition like that. So it's not as easy as you say. It is. I had to figure it out. It's super easy. Okay, give me the next one. Hold on, let me see what time is my next one. Actually, yeah, one thirty. Miss Jennifer. Oh, Miss Jennifer. Yes. Yeah, let's do let's do this one since I use it. I'm trying to do the ones that I know I use the most mm -hmm. first because those are the ones that are always tangled. I have to cut these ones. Mm -hmm. Stay alive. Thank you. what word did I use but I, I knew what I was looking for um, cord detanglers and then you'll see other things pop up but then there'll be like a couple vendors with these oh, these are pretty neat. I've had them um, I had um, some gray ones years ago when they first like when someone first came up with the concept mm -hmm. but once you put it on the tool to go and take that thing off you have to do exactly what you're doing right now which is so easy no, not really, because it's like when you have to put it, like, take it off after putting it on. I don't even want to. I gotta get this first piece on, and then I'm on a roll. Okay. I know I'm gonna eat my food if I get a chance to eat my food. See, first thing. Hmm? But you gotta twist out, it's gonna automatically. Yeah, but it tangles as you do that. Like when you braid your hair? Yeah, but it, you still got to keep, yeah. Eventually, it's going to tangle so much that you're going to be like, ugh. Now, when you get to the end doing it, it's, it's fine because it's short and it can't tangle to anything. I'm using the ceramic to curl her, you guys, just so we're all on the same page. She's fine textured. She has highlights. So you kind of have to look at the characteristics of the hair to say, okay, what iron am I going to use? If you have multiple choices, that's how you determine what irons to use and what not to use for your hair. So I'm going to trim her now that her hair is nice and straight and even. And we're really just doing a trim, like... She stays on schedule, so I know that we don't have a lot to take off. All right, chin down for me.
as long as they don't bend over time because over time they will start to bend and then they start to tangle with the others like that was one of the things that i couldn't stand about them because the ones that i had originally over time they do start to become flexible from being used mm -hmm. and then they do start to bend and then they start wrapping around each other so it was like i still wasn't staying detangled like when they're brand new like that they stay detangled for a while so do you think a different probably um what this material is different. Oh. Well, I don't even think you can change the material because even if, if it's like a braided material, like a braided fiber or something, mm -hmm. those can still tangle because they can wrap. So I guess the plastic is fine, but plastic wears down over time. So that's the only complaint that I have about them. So her trim is all done. I'm spraying her with some goddess polish to give her hair some sheen. I love her highlights because the placement just kind of just gives her some mm. Hey, Dad. Wearing heels, such a way, flats, or how do you decide it? Heels. Mm -hmm. That's what I short girls wear. Yeah, I need some height. He's 6'1, mm. so I need some height. He is tall. <laughs> Get out there for your first kid. Yeah. So sweet. So, what will your soon to be last name be? Green. I just want it over with. I think the whole planning thing. Yeah. You're not a bright girl, are you? No, I think I've been decent. My sisters may say I'm a bride girl, but I don't think I am. Just tap it here. You can sit in my chair, Mama. When that wedding day comes, we'll see. Does well, everyone together. do what they're supposed to do? I am fine. Um, um, ex mother I walked down without her bouquet. I was sitting there when they opened the doors, and I'm trying to get her attention, but there was too many people, and they're like, where's your bouquet? And she got almost to the altar and realized she didn't have it. Oh. She was getting married. Mm -hmm. She was walking down the aisle, and she was, said she knew something felt weird. She didn't know what to do with her hand, but it was because she didn't have a bouquet in her hand. They forgot to give it to her. Can you see the basket? No, but there's something inside. Oh, there it is. Let me see the back. Thank no, you, no, plan. But if also you like a planter, thank you. Where is that last planter? Thank you, ladies. All right, my dear. I'll see you in a few. Okay. Okay, Mama. Enjoy your rug. Thank you. You're welcome. I think it's the, the cow in the front that's throwing it off. Really? Is that cows on all of them? Oh, yeah, but that's in the front? Yeah, it looks like a cow with a pig. <laughs> You're just going to put that at your front door, huh? No. See, when the one she took that just now, hers, I'm like, oh, I want to take it that one. This is a kitchen rug. These aren't for the front door. Oh, These are see. like the ones that go by the stove or the sink. I don't forgot now, but it was black and white. Um. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blow her out.
Yeah, me, so I'll yeah. freeze them and then I can eat them as soon as I take them out of the freezer. They thaw out really quick though. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, they all have to. They. What kind of cake is that? That is a. Uh, um. It's called Elvis Presley. It's a cake my mother makes. Um, home makes. It's a white cake with like a pineapple and water icing. Jesus. If you ever have that pound cake. cake or something like that, like I like queen stuff, but I will eat the red velvet. But like oh, pound it's some, cake, it's some pound cake, like cake seven up. It's the lemon pound. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes, ma'am. Well, how often do you come through? I every Friday. Okay. Mo I ain't gonna say every, cause sometimes most Fridays. yeah, most, most Fridays. Fridays. Let's, okay. let's say that. Okay. I will be. I done, I done got. Time. I done became a big girl when I done start taking the weekend off for myself. That's right. Give yourself a reset. Ooh, you, you, you ain't lying. Thank you so, so much. So y'all be blessed and stay beautiful with y'all pretty smiles. Thank, Thank you. you. Don't forget to it. bring the change. Oh, oh yes. fine. Glad you, yes. I'll be right back. I'm going to get it from a girl right here. Okay. Okay. See ya. Everybody's saying you can give them half of your hair. <laughs> You can take it. <laughs> like, see, you want what you can't have, and then when you have it, you don't want it. So. Right. Finally. Yes. As we speak. I asked about you. Brother. You did? Mm -hmm. You missed it at me? That's what my daughter missed it at you. Yes. <laughs> what are you getting done to your hair? A wash? Definitely a rinse. What you're getting it washed? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you can go ahead to the shampoo bowl. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I can stop this right now, right? Yes. It's actually worse than thinking of cotton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so. Oh my gosh. She's gonna get the clarifying shampoo first and then the B7 shampoo and then I'll put her color on. Okay. That's that's the shampoo I need, I forgot. B7? To use, no, no. I was trying to remember what it is I needed for the, um, for the, Heat. What is it? The heat protector? No, no. And you do the um. I'm sorry, I covered your face. Oh, no, no. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You know that process that the lady did last time? What was that crystal? Crystal? Seriously. I don't know. What? What? Which? How many oh, ladies sorry. have been here? I don't know. Okay. Um. Hot oil treatment. There you go. Oh, the hot oil treatment. Yes. Is that what you're saying you want? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was saying that I was Oh, the oil for the treatment. Which, no, I have it. I was just saying, I was trying to remember the shampoo that I needed oh, for that okay. process. Clarifying shampoo. Yes, dear. Yeah. Do you have? A little, yes. So, Shade, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I have been okay. Well, at least okay. your roof is getting done. Okay. Yes. Okay. The you? roof was supposed to... Um, She's been trying to get her roof done for over a year. Uh -huh. Golly. So they, they were supposed to start... Well, when you told me the week of the 12th, I thought Monday. I'd already taken off Monday anyway, so... 
So me the week of the 12th, I took up the remainder of the week, and then he said, okay, it looks like Wednesday. But I knew they said Thursday wasn't looking good. The rain. Right. So then he texted me and said, oh, we're going to leave it for Friday. So you guys working on the weekend? <laughs> How many days is it? What, two days? So he says to me, no, we're going to do it all on Friday. You're going to do it all on Friday, okay? Well, they have, like, listen, these roofing companies are Let different. Let me tell you something. They they have already taken everything off. Mm -hmm. And because I'm putting the solar, they did the peel and stick in the back where it's going to be. So, yeah. So why did they do peel and stick? Because he says when they put the nails in, mm -hmm. the peel and stick, um, I guess it um, surrounds the nail to give it added um, protection so that the water does not go through. Or rather than the what, tar? The regular. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Just for the back. With the, mm -hmm. But will peel and stick last through the weather that we it, have? It will. Mm -hmm. oh, that's yep. interesting. Yep, yep. So when do you get the solar? That's going to be on the 2nd of January, which works out because we're off that day. Oh, okay. Or still alive, yep. Yep. I was hoping I didn't have to say, sorry, I need another day. He'd be like, Jennifer, this is the 2nd of January. Especially because it's after the holiday, too. You know, this is your prime time. That's definitely your prime time. Oh. So, thank goodness. That's when you don't have enough people to go out there. You know, I um, I was trying to see if I could have gotten it for the week after Christmas because the roofer said I needed at least one week, give it at least one week before anything is added to the roof. So, so when I called, it said, no, sorry. The best you can do is the second. I'm like, okay. I mean, you'll still give it time to cure, so it's not a bad thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. If he say a week, then I take two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, you guys. So I'm almost done silking her out. Oh, when this lady only, I'm telling you, Crystal is on the desk. What? When you look at the, when you look at this the time, schedule. it's like, oh my gosh, really? I told Crystal? her she in these streets late this evening. I thought she was the early bird. She ran she and late. I knew I was off, and so that's why I said, let me do it today. And, um, man, it's a hike from, from where I am to you, Crystal. Really? Mm-hmm. Is <laughs> it skipping a hop and shit? It's, a, drink, it's a hike. No, oh. I'm in Davenport. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And this damn uh, traffic control... <laughs> These drivers that want to play, uh, you know, they're controlling the traffic flow. They playing in the traffic. Mm -hmm. I want to bump them off the road. I don't understand the last line of this part. Oh, listen, listen to me. There was a guy with a New York plate oh. on the 429. Okay, you even remember that he has a New York plate. Yes, on the because you know what? I always look at it to see. To the right of it, Crystal. Too. To the right of it, he has the audacity, and meanwhile he's in the fast lane. Eh? Mm. He has the audacity to have a, a a sign that says three feet, please. <laughs> oh wow! I'm like Negro. <laughs> he making sure right you on the sale. <laughs> listen, when exactly I go, I got. To, I don't. I don't even bother. What? As soon as I can, I'm gone. I just go around so you. You in and out of traffic. So mm -hmm. contradicting. Mm hmm. You're supposed to maintain at least one car's length. Whatever. Right. Please. See, that's, that's why Miss Jennifer is my dog. She's my friend. You one car's length, same. please. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness gracious. Mm-mm-mm. Miss Jennifer, what does the yellow light mean? Does it mean slow down or speed up? Well, now, who are you speaking to? Jennifer, the civilian or Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking to you in your professional capacity. No, nope, not the professional capacity right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And they speed up. Most definitely. Let me tell you. So she has some dry scalp. So as you guys see me twisting, I'm twisting her. Silking her, I'm just lifting it up. So it'll just basically flake off. Oh, she has this on. 
And then fall oh, I should have known that life was on. <laughs> I don't know why these ladies don't just get used to the fact that she already know what's going on in here. It's like every time a show Obama coming here, I gotta, I gotta get this. Oh, the light, the light, the camera, the camera, the camera, and all this, you know, because she just won't be coming and she doesn't want anyone to see her. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's next? Um, how many shampoos did you do? To the and the B7. Um, that's it. I gotta put her color on. Hi, son. No, she's gonna hide that ugly girl. Hi. What are you doing? It's ugly. It's ugly. Yeah. Ooh. I'm what are you doing, mm. son? Mm. 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 You can't do it. No, I can't. I won't. Huh? No, I won't. I won't. Maybe I refuse when I get more, to. Maybe Christian. I oh, I'm look at it. What happened? I mean, it's just... Mine is like in the middle, so you can't really see it. So Hi, I baby. I'm on the side right here. You it's okay? It's invasive, man. It's ridiculous. Are you calling oh, me on oh, your tablet? Oh, there. I mean... Oh, it works? Okay. Did you get your pizza already? Are you talking to RJ on your tablet? A box. Oh, she was so nice, yes. Christian. Are you talking to RJ on your tablet? Are you texting RJ on your tablet? Yes. Huh? Oh, okay. Is he okay? Okay. 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 All right, mommy's working. I'll call you in a little while, okay? Would you like something to drink or water? I do have water. But Hi, Alex. Yeah, that's why I have to make a trip to get What you say, Alex? Straight to the ladies' room. Oh, to the ladies' room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From RJ? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tell him who it is. I don't think he knows. Oh, well, maybe he changed. They changed his number. I like the color of the roof. I think I would. All right, don't worry. Because it's the ones that I wanted, they don't make right now, and that one was like Talk to you guys third, later. My third choice when I originally looked at all of the roofing. So, so what did you pick? What kind of it's it? driftwood. Driftwood. Mm -hmm. okay. So when will they be finished? Today. Today? Mm -hmm. yep. He said the latest, if they're not finished today, it'll be a little bit of stuff in the morning. Please go and that's it. Awesome, really. At least you got it done before Christmas. Yeah. Right. And they came, I mean, it wasn't, they came after 6 this morning. It was like, it's 11 of them. Okay. And of course, you know, it's, um, uh, -huh. I already know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to trade five for two. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, ladies. Okay, bye-bye. We're not doing a trigger. No, I'll cut. Oh, wait, wait. What did you say you're cutting it to again? To my um, neck. Oh, Bob, Bob. Yeah. Wow. Oh, some of you are going to be so angry oh, on yes, here. I'm angry right now. She's getting a Bob, you guys. It's all that beautiful here. Yes. She is getting a whole Bob. What, you cutting your hair? Mm-hmm. I mm know -hmm. oh, you're not, right? Where's, where's the bell? Yes, she is. Where's the bell? What you see? Yes, a whole bob. Just like that. I know. Just like that. <laughs> Look at that. I would have never washed her hair by me. Oh. <laughs> wow. And I was just sitting there complimenting her on how beautiful it is. Beautiful, right? Nice. You just want something different, or is it breaking? Why are you cutting it? Oh, something different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not much left when you get long. Oh, stop it, Crystal. You're just <laughs> been too long. That's all. No, I'm not. I like long hair. It's just I know what it means when it gets long. Yeah, you can't do too many styles. Mm-mm. like Meanwhile, it says a little. 
I'm just doing my work. So this one says, "Are you prepared for free?" This one, this one is a serum. I have one home. It says I can't. It is a serum. Um, Show me where you want it to stop. Can I show you a picture? Mm hmm How much is this for? 28. Okay, so I'm going to get this. So I'm mm -hmm. okay. All right, she's ready. Bob time. Chin down for me. Y'all know I don't itch on a haircut, honey. Y'all yeah, time. So she's saying to cut it. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. going to cut it to here first, and then I will clean up the cut. Oof. So maybe keep that and you can put that on my head. Oh my God, I yeah. Know. Mm. No, <laughs> it's too late. It's, it's hair gone. Gone. Crying. It's gone. It's hair. Okay. And it's still not even short enough yet. So it's hair. More? Yes. All I'm gonna see in my comments, it's always the bald hair people that love cutting my hair off. <laughs> I don't even know the ruthless people that be on my channel, but it's always the bald hair people that want to cut people's hair off. <laughs> no, don't doubt me. Oh my goodness gracious. It's all I keep hearing. It's always the bald hair people. It's always the people with no hair. Well, they should also hear that she requested it. So. Yeah, I was going to say. Because mm -hmm. me personally, I forgot that I was even doing a haircut. So I've gotten so so used to just cutting hair like on a normal or silking out. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty either way because it looks so healthy. You know? yeah. yeah. And she didn't cut all of it off. Right. Still have some here to play with. Look at everybody's mouth is open. Just drop their mouth. <laughs> yep, me with 32 strands. She trusted to cut it off. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Mama, chin down. Not 32. You can't your <laughs> I mean, us bald head people. Crystal, you know. Crystal, have hair on her head. She just like it low. Have hair. I don't want, I don't yeah, want long hair. Mm -hmm. That's my spunkiness. She just, just like it low. I'm going to grow mine. So, however, I'm not going to be using that for my. Ugh. The short hair doesn't fit my face, that's right. A few times. Really? Yeah, that my haircut is shorter. Short hair or is it crystal? Well, yeah, it just doesn't look right. You know, some people can rock short cuts and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I think I look better with short hair. I just think I, I want mine to grow a little bit. I think I have seen you with long hair, though. You've had long hair, or you mean like. Oh, when I was a child. Yes, I like it long. And I, I don't mind if the back is short. Mm -hmm. I just like, you know, the rest of it to be, you know? Yeah. A decent like. So I've had that too. The back, I get shaved, a little style. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't back. mind if the back is, is lower. And just the, the bottom half, not just the little bit here. That's it. You do know your VIP in the salon, right? Because she hasn't even put you to work like she did everybody else. With oh, oh, is she going to the uh -oh. dryer? <laughs> oh, you, you're going to wait for her to go to the dryer? Mm -hmm. uh oh, oh. No, you don't got to do it. Oh, wow. If you don't want to, I'll be finished for you. I don't want you to 
break a nail or anything. Thank you. So how considerate yes. you are compared to some people. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep. Where's my box? <laughs> Bring my box back. Oh, oh you're an Indian girl? No, you can't be an Indian girl. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, a beautiful smelling candle. Mm -hmm. um, she got some Starbucks. I got, I got Starbucks and I got a nice devotional with a beautiful color. And hold on, when I got the book, right? Most people I would not buy that devotional book for, but she loved to be super deep in her metaphoric ways. So I said, this book is perfect for her. Oh, it's about the 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 eyes of life through the eyes of a deer. deer. Mm -hmm. That is her. Mm -hmm. Real different. What kind of candle you got, girl? You no, know, I don't remember the name of it, but it's it's like a seed or something. But it's it's like really nice, and it's Christmas green. I'm a matchy matchy person, so all of my stuff Everything had to match. The, the Starbucks cup, is green. Yes. The Starbucks the Starbucks cup, is green. You yes, know? Yes. The candle. Yes. I'm one of those kind of people. You know, if you're going to give someone a gift, make it nice. Yes, dear. Yes. It's very nice. Make me feel special. I was going to bring her one of those cardigans, but I'm like, I don't know if she'll wear that. You never know when you have to call and use a courtesy card sometimes so you gotta be nice no no Christmas. i promise i didn't steal it can you come and get me <laughs> i don't know what this lady in target is talking about oh my goodness oh, target. Yeah, I'm telling you. Target. Yes. you know crystal 21 oh. years on the 27th and you ain't leaving yet soon and very soon how much more time on a year a year i think that's it? Mm -hmm. I remember the conversation that you were checking into. Look how far you reach. Yes. God is, yes. God is good. God All is right, good. All right, so this side is definitely still too long. There we are. She's bobbing. <laughs> I know some of you are super jealous. It's okay. I get it. Yeah, it's her hair. Leave the girl alone. And it's going to grow about two toots. Faster than us who only have 27 That's it. That's it. So hers is going to grow back real yeah, soon. Real soon. Yeah, my hair does grow back. Yeah. It does, huh? Yeah. Don't you have to rub it in? <laughs> 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 Mine is one of those too. It seems like it grows overnight. It's mm -hmm. like weird. Like, yeah, just cut it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No. I think they're all these washed up right now. It'll be back the same next week. Um. All right. So I'm going to use the. Bovachi red plate iron to curl her. This is perfect for Bob's chin down for me. Um, once I curl her, I'll go back through and clean up anywhere that kind of hid under the nape area. And then that's really it. So, then Miss Jennifer's getting the color that I can eat my food from breakfast. Oh my gosh. I'm just clean up her hairline here. Get any, get any little swiggles. So I guess you can call it a, a blunt bob, but I did still soften it because you don't want to have too much weight on a bob. It just starts to look real Cleopatra-ish mm -hmm. in a negative way. So all the people who are not upset that she cut her hair, put some fire emojis. If you are upset, just look. <laughs> Don't really put nothing in there because I know y'all ready to curse the girl out. It's okay. It's all her hair. Let's see who puts the fire emojis and let's just stay, who stays quiet. Mm -hmm.
You see my yard? Thank you for the fire. Sorry. One person. <laughs> oh, that's outside? Oh, right now. It's mm -hmm. live. Mm -hmm. oh, they're, they're What's that on your ring? Mm -hmm. It's sideways. It's, oh, it's ring. Well, you got, look, you got Padre doing your, your roof? Is Padre doing it? Padre? It's um, <laughs> Carol, Carol Bradford is the name of the company. Look for my face when I say Padre. But I think, I mean, I think they Who did they have... hire to do the work? <laughs> Oh, yes. It's Padre. Yes, yes, yes. It's always Padre. I think they're probably at lunch. That's Lewis and Miguel that they had there. It's I always see. them, you know. Yes. It was so funny. Every right? because roof company I see, it's always. I'm telling you, because I guess they know what they're doing. And they're fast. And, and they're don't... fast. Uh-huh. They get except, the work done. Except, um, there's always a language barrier. But you learn how to speak English-Spanish one time. You start to use your hands, you know? <laughs> you, right, and we're gonna grasp. Always learn how to do it. <laughs> like when we go to the, the Chinese supermarket, if everybody is Miss Chin and Mr. Chin, even if you're not Chinese, Miss Chin and Mr. Chin. Oh, goodness. I can't forget my Christmas on my Thank you, God. See, you are getting some fire emojis, okay? There's not that many haters in the crowd. <laughs> There's no haters in the crowd. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are learning about hair cutting and the, the reason why we do what we do. Oh, it's up to the client. It is up to the client. Thank you. <laughs> Can't do fire emoji. <laughs> so my client came oh with a request God. to get a cut. I even forgot that she told me she was getting a cut. Yeah. Because when she came, her hair was not down. Her hair was, was wrapped and you wouldn't know that she had this much length until you come to blow dry it out. And you're like, wait a second, what? <laughs> and I didn't really notice when she was like, oh, I'm getting a bob cut. I'm like, oh, okay. I was fine. I'm still fine. Because her bob is bobbing. <laughs> and she had some, some short hairs in the top anyway, so it just kind of it worked out. Yeah. Fire emojis? She, had a, she had a lot of fire emojis. There's not a lot of haters on my channel today. Why we gotta be I'm haters, super proud of you guys because I get a lot of the haters about, you know, haircuts. I'm going to do a video about the reaction in the comments for uh, for the videos. Mm -hmm. You guys would be so surprised what people say. People say some real retarded stuff. Mm -hmm. well, of course they like it, but it, it's they love wrong. they love it. And then, you know, if I if I give them some interaction, no, I just made their day. Mm -hmm. I love to give interaction. Somebody said I can't look. <laughs> Close your eyes, honey. Oh, I got to fix this thing. You know what, what What puzzles me? How people get upset about hair that doesn't even belong to you. And that's what I see a lot of in the comments. It's not even in the comments when the video is live. They're not brave enough to come in the comments when it's live and say certain things. So they'll comment after the fact. And then you're upset about her choice of her hair. I don't know, because they can't. They can't say it, you know, face forward, because they know Crystal goes face forward. I go head on. You tell them about the grandmother. I don't give a damn. Uh -oh. So they just kind of like hold and fold, and then they, they go in the comments. And most of the time, I don't really go into the comments. It's only like here and there I might drop in there. Because now the comments come so frequent. It's like, okay, I can't, I can't. I can't keep up. I've seen in the comments that I don't know how to do hair. Thank you. I keep giving people the same style. Like, I'm just making up the choice of style oh, that the client so comes it's with. It stops it from interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Good. She said retirement does start tangled back. Oh. But okay. For the most part. I'm going to try to declutter my life over here. It's just everything is everywhere, so... 
I'm gonna move some some items around. You know, okay. this room is super large, so I have such a, a good amount of you space do. that you I can do. move things around. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm going to um, actually can I hold it in there? Make a couple change. That's what I'm saying. You know, and I was gonna. Th I was even thinking about starting to rent out the space. Yeah. For small gatherings, like birthday parties, yeah, it's nice and large. Mm -hmm. Ample parking is gonna be the selling point. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. remove the chair. <laughs> you know what I mean, and we're we're good. Yes, dear. Yes. Residual income. You know? As long as they don't have a problem with noise, because you're talking about a. A birthday party, you know, you're talking about music and love. And, and Jennifer, love. You, is our, you, you really work where you work, man. Mm -hmm. You real, you real lighter like that. Mm -hmm. You real lighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I'm just yeah, saying. Man, you real lighter yeah, like that, man. Does she think you're serious? Miss Jennifer, I, I, I believe her. Me know this lady. She's I'm, very... I'm just saying. Oh, Miss Jennifer, I meant to ask you something. Yes, sir. Is Arima the ghetto? Uh -huh. Arima. Yes. That's the hood? I've heard only bad things about it. Oh, good thing I didn't book it then. Because <laughs> we're going to Carnival. Okay. And no, Arima has a... Uh, Arima is part of Port of Spain, but I guess you need to... Know your area? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that is where um, David Rada is from. A lot yeah. of those Calypsonians are from there, but yeah. But that is the that's it's not a great place. No, a lot of violence and okay. stuff like that. So I guess I'll be staying at the hill. Yes, dear. I suggest you do that. Now, obviously, Super you're going with right your now, better yeah. half. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to stay with your better <laughs> half? Well, you know, he and hasn't been there in a long time either. Huh? Oh, he's been there in a very long time. Whenever we, I haven't gone in a long time. My sister goes most often, but whenever we do. What Hazel does actually, she um, contacts, Hazel knows everybody, so she will contact whoever she has in San Fernando uh -huh. and they will put her onto a driver uh -huh. and she'll stay with that driver for a duration of time. So wherever you need to go, uh -huh. that driver knows your schedule and he picks you up, he drops you off and that's it. So, well, We rent a car. Oh, you did? Who's yeah. going to drive in Trinidad? Me, if you can't drive in Jamaica, you can drive in Trinidad. Oh my. It's the same thing. Oh, if, you can, no. if you can drive on the streets of Flatbush, you can drive in any country. Oh, no, 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 no. In will Trinidad, not. what side of the road do they drive on? The opposite side. Yeah, just like Jamaica. It's the same. I drive oh, no, there darling. Mm -mm. I have no shame. I'm good. Uh, uh, All if I end up on the other side of the road. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I'm not from here. Let me tell you, what are you talking about madness? Pure madness in Trinidad. No, sir. No, I agree. Well, with the traffic or period? How they drive, the traffic, everything. Everything. It, there's, there's no such thing as traffic laws. As that's far as I'm that's Brooklyn. There's nothing. No, 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 no. If no. you can drive with dollar vans, you can drive with No, vans. man. No. Mm -hmm. that, Trinidad that is, is the extreme worst. madness. That's Jamaica then. If you can drive in Jamaica, you can drive in no, any I, country. No, I, I won't drive in any island. I'm sorry. You're oh, brave, yes. and I commend you for your bravery. So how do you get around? You get a driver? That's what, mm hmm That's what, you know. I'm passenger, darling. Those officials, All day long. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I like to get this. All day long. Good. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, those official people, you know? They just See, can. I can't, I, I feel, I, I'm more scared if somebody else drives me. I feel like no. I have to be in control. You can sit now there we, comfortably. Now, remember time. now, the driver... That's where they live. That's, right. They so, do it every day. Yes. And obviously, you're going to get somebody who has common sense. And, oh, know, not everybody has common sense. Who, who is, who so here's the thing. I know a lot of people who go to the islands and they get these same drivers. And drivers love to show off. And those same drivers be the ones that's on TVJ yeah. yeah. with, with, with accidents. Well, who absolutely does not have any of that experience? Oh, it's time for it. Some right now playing for their hair. Hmm? I oh, know, like yeah. me. Somebody playing for that hair right mm -hmm. here, right now. But she just threw it away. No, she okay. didn't. We cut it off. Okay. Okay. She's going to need it. <laughs> she she said, uh -huh. no, need it. You cut it if you were to put it like ponytail. They said your hair looks so nice. Yes. Thank yes. you. Nice and shiny it. and bouncy. It is pretty, though. How long have you 
long before you think it's going to pass your shoulders? Um, maybe in the next few months. Next few months? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a blessing. This is the piece you cut, right? Basically, that you didn't need the orange thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't put that in the thing. I know though. that. Here you go, Mom. Darn. I, I Yes, it will ask you. You can tap it there. No, 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 tap it. Tap your thing here. There you go. Um, come, 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 star. Let's get rid of this, uh, stuff. This, I don't know why you're sitting here. Find your way to my chair. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Oh, I'll be so holding this right here. Right next door. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will be there. You okay, too. Have a good holiday. Okay, so my, my star in the chair, I can't really show you her. You know what I mean? Yes. So you guys just look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. I, none of my irons are cordless, babe. I don't do cordless irons. I have cordless clippers, but not irons. They do make cordless irons in the world, but... You don't forget that you had a highlight? You did. Mm -hmm. I like my highlights. Yeah. I that that piece if I didn't, didn't last but a day or two. Really? Mm mm. You sweat. No, down. no. I just it. You know, once once people leave your chair, no, you have to try to. Did it slip out? It. Did it slip off? Mm mm. No. What did it do? It didn't do anything. It just, you know, coming to me. I am. I think it probably would have been better. I would have kept it if it was on both sides. Mm -hmm. But that one side thing. Mm mm. Oh, okay, I got that, you. That didn't work, so I just took it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're difficult. I, I I'm not, I'm not difficult at mm, all. Mm, <laughs> mm, okay, got yep, you. Yep, I just took that sucker right out. Y'all hear her? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Ay, ay, ay. But I, I really hope that they could... You know, I understand you can't get rid of the grave, but maybe something. Well, there's no way it grows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body. I was just saying that. Just yes, saying there's that. Absolutely nothing. No yeah, way. Yeah. Um, for that to be possible. So we're just <laughs> gonna just <laughs> leave that. Oh, shut up. Right. So <laughs> oh, when is Carnival? February. Where do you come from, children? I don't know. I this. don't pay any attention to Carnival, look. At yeah, all. I think I'm just my going children, to experience it. Yeah. Yeah, Once or twice, and um, what I like you know, about people are real weird, you know. Also, and I want to just go and see a different culture because I'm so used to Jamaica. Like, oh, Jamaica is all I know. Okay, so it's time to broaden the horizon and okay. go other places. So, like Curacao, I've seen, I've conquered, and I don't, don't really need to go back. Okay, so now it's time for Trinidad and then Thailand. Thailand, okay. I need to go to Thailand and see it with my two eyes. Mm -hmm. I also need to go to the UK, which I'm going there probably in August for their carnival. What? They have, I guess carnival They have, is um, what is it called? Nottingham. Nottingham. It's called Nottingham Carnival. Mm -hmm. So that's the next one in August. Nice. That was my goal to go somewhere every, at least every two months. So something will be in between. Okay. That was one of my goals for the next year to go somewhere, to vacation every two months. Okay. Well, you work hard, you know. Yeah. That's how you, you keep from burning out mm -hmm. and enjoy life. You don't just work, 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 pay bills and stress. Right. I'm tired of that. I've done that for years. Hmm. Stress will always be there and so will your bills. Yeah. Even when you think you've paid off your home, you haven't because you still never will own it. Right, right. That's so today, because um, you know, I like to share with you guys everything that I learn, I teach you guys. So today, when I had to step out of the salon, um, I was talking to an estate planning attorney. Hmm. And I have this notion that I'm going to follow through with because I keep seeing that 
as African Americans, we don't we don't estate plan. We don't do any of that. So if you guys know who Chadwick Boseman is, which most anybody who watched Black Panther, yeah. you know who this man is. Mm -hmm. If you guys noticed that they had a lot going around about when he passed away, all his assets got tied up in probate court. Mm. And after, if he, all he had to have was a living will, a piece of paper notarized. It doesn't even have to be recorded, depending on the state you're in. If he had a living will or a trust set up for if he had children, I'm not sure if he did or not, him, his wife, his estate, his wife would not have had to go to probate court to go and fight get, not even necessarily fight, because it's not necessarily, it's not a fight. You're his wife. You're automatically entitled. Right. But you have to go through that process because it doesn't belong to you. It still belongs to him even in death. Mm -hmm. So they don't just hand it to you, even though you're his wife, even though you're his children. We know that it's going to you, but the way the government works is they got to get their cut if you're going to. Horrible. Not cover yourself like it's you're supposed horrible. to. We were just talking about this. And if you if you guys look at, at wealthy people, wealthy people estate plan decades before they pass away. Mm -hmm. It's not when they get older that they start to estate plan. They start with a, at a very young age. Estate planning because you know why? They were taught this at a young age. We're not taught these things. We're taught to rob Peter to pay Paul, borrow from Jack. And then when you pay back Paul, borrow it back from Peter to go pay back Jack. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we're, we're not given a lot of those things where the internet has made it a place where, yes, it's for entertainment. If you guys use social media for entertainment, you're wasting a lot of your time. I use social media for entertainment, but I also learn a lot, too, because we're in a, a giving world now, right? So mm -hmm. down for me where there's a platform that people use to give you information, whether it be to sell their services or their products or not, they're willing to give you the information so that you can trust them and use them for the information that they gave you. So you guys know I love TikTok. I don't do a lot on TikTok, but I love to look at the things on TikTok, whether it be entertaining or learning. So there's a guy on there where it's a white guy and he always talks about re irrevocable trust and or re revo revocable trust in so many words, land trust, all these things. So when we finally closed on the house, I knew that at that moment, I'm like, okay, I got to make sure that my kids will be taken care of when the time comes, if the time comes. And I know that they don't have to deal with a lot of the things that the world has set up for you to have to deal with, like probate court. If you don't know anything about probate court, which is why I brought up Chadwick Bozeman, Chadwick Bozeman, when he died, his wife had to go to probate court to get access to all of the assets that actually already belonged to her anyway. And with that being done, if his worth, if his net worth in assets was $1.5 million, automatically probate court to the, took a percentage of that money. You know, it's such... <sighs> Just for the fact that you have to go into this courtroom and literally talk and say, I am such and such. Mm -mm. I am his wife, which you already know because I got married in your state. We have resided in this home for 12 years, which you already know because my deed is recorded. We have been married this amount of years. God forbid he has any creditors that want to go after him. They're coming too. The attorney that you hire automatically, before you get $1 from that million dollars, they automatically are getting, I think it's 30% off the top, or maybe mm. it's 20. It's a percentage, but it's a, it's a high percentage, 30, 20, something. Automatically, before you even get a dollar back, mm. that money, that million dollars has already been divided by 50% Terrible. between court and attorney. Mm. And then they start to break down your money and say, okay, now because you're his wife, you're going to get 50% of whatever's left. So if you had $500,000 left, you now get that 50%, which that 50% is going to be $250,000. Mind you, your husband was worth a million bucks. Hmm. Okay, somebody said 40. So thank you, Shelly. In, in every state is different. Terrible. But this is what I'm trying to say, you guys. Oh. So. I've already had I had already started looking into this because I I am a creature of learning. I like to learn things and I like to learn things the lighter skin way. 
And I say this in a humble way, you guys, because we were not set up for success from the beginning. OK, y'all ever seen that movie with Cat Williams where he was in jail and the girl brings the little boy to come see him. Thank you. And she had a little light skinned baby. Y'all know what light skin what? means. She had a little white baby with glasses that looked like the prison guard. And she said looked like the prison guard. And Cat Williams was like, I don't know where you're going with this with this white baby. She's like, this is your baby. He's like, that baby had a credit score of 700 before. He said he got a credit score right now, 700. Of 700. Mm. And he started calling him sir. Talking about, I will wait for you one day, sir. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but it's, it's the world we live in, you guys. And if you're blind to it, then you're, you're going to always be blind. So I say that, you know, funny humor, whatever, and He's no offense to. Oh, he tells the, he tells the facts. Comedy, yeah, he comedy. tells the facts, but it's no, no, nothing to any of my viewers, my, my lighter skin viewers. Okay. Nothing like that. It's not a race card. I'm just using it as the example is sometimes you guys get more access to information than we will ever get. And it's naturally or, built that way. Or, or someone like Crystal is teaching you. Because that is not the norm. No. I want to hold on to the information, information. Right. so I no. don't share. Right, because they learned it from the same place that I might have learned it. Mm -hmm. They had someone show it to them before me, but you're my colleague and you won't tell me. Yeah, a lot of people. You know what I mean? And I've, get, I've encountered that a lot even just doing little YouTube videos with you guys. Why you give out so much information? You know you can be charging for that? No, it's fine. I'm going to be blessed on either end. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm going to always be blessed. So I'm not going to die by giving you a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. So anyhow, um, I've been learning about land trusts. I've been learning about living wills, revocable trusts, irre 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 irrevocable trusts. Mm -hmm. Because by and by time they get to the access of, by time they get to access any of that money. See this. This is what I'm trying to say. All these celebrities that you see looking like they're a billion dollars, they've made so much money in life. Their life is just so amazing. You're not being advised to do any of this stuff, though. You're being advised to buy as much jewelry as you can, yes. look as rich as you can. Yes. All Sound as rich as you can, have on the nice clothes, rack up a ton of debt because a lot of celebrities are so in debt, they get, nice. never, they get paid to look nice. They get paid to look nice. They get paid to smile and laugh and do all of that. And behind closed doors, they're crying because they owe somebody $50 million and they will never pay them off. Mm. So this is what I was learning when I consulted with this person today, because I wanted to make sure that, you know, even when you buy your first house, I don't care if the house is worth $100,000, that $100,000 house can tie up in probate court and your children get not one inch of it. They can't even live in it. They can't access anything that you own. They can't go to the bank and say, I am the daughter of John Jake. They can't do any of that. They can't say, hey, my mom has six million dollars in her bank account. I wanted to go ahead and draw it out because you know why? You didn't sign a little piece of paper that cost you about two hundred dollars to say, hey, when I pass away, if my children are under the age of 18, this is who's going to be their guardian. Even though they might have their actual father or mother still alive, they automatically become their guardian as long as their name is on the birth certificate. But you can say this hundred thousand dollar house that might not be worth much to you right now could be worth three hundred thousand dollars later belongs to my child mm -hmm. and not now yes right and not yes it belongs to my child but through probate court so we got to go sell it so that they can get the proceeds from it and that could take you five years mm -hmm. so what is your child going to do for five years or you don't even go as far as saying i'm going to pay an extra 40 dollars a month to get some life insurance so that your two children don't have to financially struggle if you're not here to struggle for them like, y'all better wake up because this is what people are doing. And they're not saying they're doing it. They're not teaching you that they're doing it. They're not giving you the tools to say, hey, you do know that you can write a, a, a will and literally photocopy it and email it to yourself 
and then just go and notarize that actual will and that stands in front in front of every other creditor People before you. When I said I had a will when I was 20-something. I don't have to be rich to have a will. You, you don't have to be anybody to have a will. If you own a $2,000 car, you better put it in your will <laughs> or nobody can use it. Yeah. The government, I have it. I'm nobody you. can use it, but I am looking now into doing what they call a revocable, rev revocable trust. And the, the, the major word, the umbrella, is called estate planning. You can go to LegalZoom and estate plan. Like, literally, you can pay $300 on LegalZoom and get all the documents to estate plan for yourself. Mm. It's not hard. Period. So that if you do pass away, your loved, one, your loved ones, whether they are minors or not, can have access to your stuff and they never have to see a courtroom. Uh, not one minute, not one minute would they have to go into a courtroom and pay 50% of their money to the government automatically. So if you left them $1,000, okay, they're getting 500. Hmm. And then that 500, because it's two people, they go half and half automatically. If you have a spouse now, your spouse is at the top and then they drop to the two children of what's left. Hmm. If you're not married or if you're married, but you're not living together anymore, he's still your spouse, honey. Mm. He's still getting all of your stuff. And then it drops down to the other people, like your kids. Who's the main part of importance here? Your spouse has grown. Your spouse can cover themselves. Your children, if they're 9, 10, 12, 15, they can't be responsible for themselves if you pass away. So what are they going to do? Go to your grandma? Go to your aunt? Go to your dad. They barely can take care of themselves. So what are they going to do? Mm -mm. So ever since I started stumbling upon this information, if you know anything about TikTok, once you start looking at one thing, now it's just an over exhaustion of the same thing. Like when we were looking for a house, it was everything about house buying. I learned that there was closing costs on a TikTok video. Didn't even know that there was a such thing when I was looking for a house. I thought that was all included. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So when I saw that video and the lady was like, the one thing that messes up her clients every time that they, they buy, that they get, the one thing that messes up for their client is when the client doesn't know that their closing costs have to be paid outside of this home that you're buying. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that until maybe March. I started looking in January. That should tell you something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been working on. Like, I know that I can do it on my own, which I'm looking into that part too, because it's not complicated. It's not complicated. Um, Ashley, your realtor didn't discuss that with you up front. My realtor was also one of my very good friends. So when we did actually talk about things, it wasn't about that. So it's not that she didn't tell me that. It was more like we talked about everything else because you're like one of my greatest friends. So, yeah, it, it's not even here nor there to talk about that. We're past that now. No matter running upon that one day. But the fact of the matter is, if you have any form of asset, period, I'm giving you guys the game that we're not giving. So y'all listen close and just roll on in. You don't have to have a billion dollars to do what I'm about to do. You don't even have to really have a thousand dollars to do what I'm about to do. But have a living will form a trust so that that trust you can allocate a trustee so you'll be the primary trustee and then you have a secondary trustee who will be your successor god forbid you pass away so now your 9 10 and 11 year old child has the guardian that can oversee the trust and make sure that when they are living, they can access to a certain amount of money at a certain amount of time. They have access to your home because you do know that if you pass away with life insurance and your child is under 18, you do know that they cannot use that money. They, they, they can do nothing with it. They cannot be a beneficiary under 18 and they just hand them a check. It doesn't work like that, you guys. That's how you end up in court because there's no one to actually advocate for them. Like that's how it works. So people think, just say, oh, I got life insurance. My kid's going to be okay. Well, if your kid is only nine, they're not going to be okay because that money is going to be tied up and they can't use it. So what's next? Who's going to take care of them? How much are they going to get? This is why when you watch those movies and people are like, I forgot what show I'm watching on Amazon Prime. It's called Riches. You guys ever seen that show? Mm -mm. 
It's a show on Amazon Prime called Riches. I advise everybody to go and watch that show. It's really entertaining. It's based in the UK, but it's good. It's mm. called Riches. Where this man, he owns a beauty company, just like Elite Hair Care. They sell hair products. The company was started between him and his first wife, and who he had also had two children with. He decided to leave his first wife, cold turkey, and marry someone else and mm. kick them out on the street. Oh. So they grew up in the United States with their mother, who was a hairstylist, and her salon's name was F and G. Um, I forgot what F and G stands for, but it, it was the salon name, which is his company name. That's how you know she started it. He leaves her, tells them to go on or whatever, and moves, and the company blows up, and it becomes this huge company, and he makes a whole other family with three other children in the UK. Hmm. He ends up um, calling his daughter one day after so many years. She says she hadn't talked to him since she was like seven years old. He calls her one day and she kind of like goes off on him not knowing that he dies the next day. Ooh. So when he dies, he does exactly what I'm talking about. He estate planned, right? He, Once again, people with money do these things because your, your purpose of estate planning is to protect the assets that you have so nobody can take them. Regardless, of, like I said, you don't have to be rich, but that's what they do because they know that this is now a thing everybody wants something from you mm -hmm. okay so he dies and he does a will which we always see on tv and he does his will via video when he dies the attorney did all of this estate planning and when he dies he names the two children that he had no care for when they were alive and well and he was alive and well as the owners of the most shares in the company now mm. so they now own this company wow nothing goes to probate court which actually it, it does end up going to probate but it's because their laws are different so that's how it went but i say that to say at the end of the day it's like this is what happens like i'm surprised this is what happens where your wife is now cut out because you went and did all of these things and now your children are taken care of and you basically said this is who gets this she can have the house and it was a big thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I really, I would say everybody go and watch this show. Yeah, the other three that he has. They ended up getting money, too, oh, but okay. not as much as I you think. the first two. It became a battle of who has the most shares in your company. Mm. It was, this is what happens. Like, people do not see this part, but they show you this in movies all the time. And the thing is, though, they like to um, protest about the will. Mm -hmm. The will is the will. If a will is ironclad, you see one thing? You see when you do things the right way, and you know for a fact that legally, you can't come after me for this because I have this, and all it took was a sheet of paper with a notary on it for $10 mm -hmm. at M. Scott? Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. So I'm doing it now because I know at the end of the day, I have three little people. And these three little people have to be able to live even if I'm here or not. Mm -hmm. Right? So I want to make sure that my stuff doesn't end up in the wrong places, in the wrong hands, or just go down the drain to the government for half of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to make sure. I just want to make sure that my kids have what they have. Terrible. That's it. So you guys look into it. Like, don't be blind. Don't don't be just sitting out here and you're busting your butt. You're working so hard. You're out here working 40, 60, 70 hours a week for, for you to make ends meet. You buy your first home. You buy your first car. You pay off for your car. Whatever asset you have, it doesn't matter. Up to even your bank account. It does not just go directly to your children, you guys. It goes to probate first because you didn't tell them what to do with it. Hmm. So when you have this bank account with your name on it, you didn't tell people that this is what's going to happen so that they can legally walk in there and say, I'm such and such. Here's my paperwork that says that I own this bank account now. You can't. They will never be able to touch it. I have a friend right now going through that. She's been in probate court for like two years. By the time the money is finished, you ain't got no money. Goodness gracious. Your husband passes away. Your legally lawful husband passes away. And because your legally lawful husband didn't put your name on his accounts, you cannot touch a dollar of his money. Oh, so now all of that money is going to filter through the court. All of that money is going to filter through your attorney. Your attorney automatically gets money before they even calculate you. The court takes all this money 
And then after you're done, the little two grand that's left, you got to split that between him and his three kids. That's 500 each. You did all of that for two years for $500. Mm. Okay, good. So y'all take heed to the, to the conversation. Take heed to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real life. Just like when Prince passed away. Abs same thing. Do you ever notice? Y'all never notice this? That usually, whenever you hear about these things like probate court and all this, it's always when African-American celebrities or mm -hmm. those pass away. True. That's when you find out that True. they didn't even have the not the common knowledge nobody mm -hmm. all these conglomerates that's handling these millions of dollars that you're making they're walking you a check they're thanking you that you know how to sing rap design yeah. clothes sell perfume you are busting your butt as an entertainer and then when they pass away you hear that all this stuff ends up in probate court so why they didn't tell you that part yeah why they didn't tell you that why they didn't teach you that when they were teaching you how to pay taxes from your million dollars that you owe them Come on now. When James Brown was still in court 10 years after his death. Imagine. Okay. Good grief, man. You know why? Because when you die, let me tell you one thing what happens if you don't have a, a living will. You have to put an ad in the newspaper that basically says that you died. So that your creditors have a certain amount of time to now reach out and say, he owes me this amount. It could be, I lent $20 to Miss J. And Miss J now has to contest that I owe her $20. So now she has a claim to my money. The car people then reach out and say, hey, I saw... There's people that literally look at this newspaper every single day to see who died so that they can find out if they owe you something, oh if you owe them something. This is what these companies do. They have people that sit there and they get paid to literally read the newspaper for the estate <laughs> to see how much I owe you. And what you can get, you think estate sales just happen just because you know what an estate sale is? That means that we got to sell all your stuff mm -hmm. and then we put all the money into this pot now. So if I made $100,000 and it's seven people that I got to pay, mm -hmm. everybody got to get paid and then I get paid. Mm -hmm. If I owe American Express a million dollars and I only claim 100000 that means I'm getting zero because American Express is getting their money first. Yes, you have to put it in the paper. People don't know that. I learned that from my friend. She had to put it in the newspaper that her husband died. Why? Because her daughter, her, her daughter, her stepdaughter doesn't like her. So the stepdaughter goes and initiates the problem. Oh my goodness. You see these things that happen? You can't collect, you can't spend one penny of your spouse's money while it's in probate. People don't know that. You should have been telling them about those boyfriends and girlfriends they've been with 15, 20 plus years and their in-laws don't like them. Mm -hmm. And when they die, mm -hmm. yeah, you've been with them 20, 25 years. You don't, you don't have a claim to nothing. If they don't want you at that funeral, you have they a claim got to nothing. Because right. you're not the wife. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That part. You have, you have Some no states have common law, but a lot yeah, of states don't no, recognize no, common, yeah. common law in no, anything. Nope. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna warm this. I said I was gonna warm this food up. I just been sitting here running my mouth. I know, I was watching you. Okay, I guess you're not hungry. <laughs> I am hungry though. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna eat it. Mm-hmm. So I'm on my last client. So this is why we're just sitting here and chatting. That's it, honey. The funny things after black and brown celebrities died, the light skinned folks are over their estate. Alan Lead, former tour manager, Eric Lead, former Prince saxophonist. Wow. Yeah, it's facts, though. They sure can teach you how to make a million dollars, though. They can teach you how to go and buy a home, but you telling me that they couldn't teach you how to protect your assets? Mm -hmm. That's Did you what have happens. Timer? Did, did you I have timer going? No, I said it. Alexa, how much time is left? Alexa, how much time is left? Did she do that? I'm Seven. 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 I keep trying to get my parents to go over their will and wishes so that we know what to do should something happen and to get additional coverage so their houses get paid off if they pass that part. 
that part. Like I've seen people, they go get mortgage insurance where if you pass away, it's expensive though, but if you pass away, you know for a fact that your house will be paid off or you need to get a life insurance policy big enough that it can encase how much your mortgage is plus still leave money behind for your children. You can do that too. It's expensive, but you can do it. I mean, I'd rather pay $200 a month now for $5 million later for my kids to still be able to live the way that they live without having to worry. For me to not say, oh, okay, I, man, you know, she passed away still owing $8 million on that house. After all that work, we have to now put it on the market and sell it. Hmm. Trying is the word. My mom, the same. They are stubborn. Because, you know, I don't get it. They own three homes. No way we could keep up with those payments. Uh-oh. That part. Wow. So all they th- all they have to do is just write a will, write a trust. That's it. Like you know, it's it's hard to tell, but don't be mm-hmm. naive. We're in a different world, and people know all the loopholes that you don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's all just, that money that your parents sucking. paid in mortgage, mm-hmm. and maybe maybe God forbid, like on wood, plastic, mirror, everything that mm-hmm. they pass mm-hmm. away, owing seven hundred dollars on the mortgage, and if you don't have seven hundred dollars, that that. Hundred odd thousand, two hundred odd thousand that they just paid now goes down the drain and right. it goes back to the mortgage company right. for them to sell it again and make that money times three while your seven hundred dollars is encased in there because you couldn't pay it. It's real, it's real life. It's real life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am not gonna sit here and build elite hair care from the ground up. For it to just wash away and my kids can reap not one benefit from right. it. Ha ha, that is a lie. Right. That is a lie. Nobody tell me, me not to eat it. Me like liver. I want to eat the liver. Just leave it where I it's at. I won't tell you now. I'm just saying, look. Okay, there's reasons why you shouldn't drink milk either. You drink milk? No, man. Listen, man. Seriously. Dang, no, seriously. Man. Yeah, you're drinking Sometimes milk? Sometimes when is milk? Yes. Say? Sometimes it's milk. 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 Sometimes it's milk.
Mm-hmm. I don't really make that stuff at home though. No, me either. Cause nobody else eats it but mm-hmm. me. <laughs> no, I don't eat so that. So I haven't had a lot of that stuff in years. I like how they did this one though. They they slice it really thin. Okay. Most places it'd be like too thick and chewy. Thick yeah. and tough. Yeah. Um, that's the one on pause. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I stopped going to the other to the other one. Oh, um, Good Homes. Or, um, no, no, no. The other name, the other name brand. Oh, big brand. <laughs> yeah. By your place or by the main place where you were. Mm-hmm. I bought a soup one time and um, I I'm still trying to figure out what the hell it was. In the soup. <laughs> and when I go and tell them what is this, they tell me oh, because that happens sometimes. Because they're washing so much meat, things get in there that shouldn't. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This happens sometimes. I wasn't scared to say that. Right. What? Thank you very much. That's she all I needed. She should have been like, oh my God, let me see No, I don't think so. Like? You're washing so much meat that. What did it look like? It, I, I couldn't figure out what Something it was. To me, it? no. To me, it was. <sighs> it just didn't belong in the soup. And I don't even think it was part of the meat. I don't know if it, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the packaging or something. I have no idea. Mm. But I'm talking about, I'm just, I'm just trying to have some soup. Oh no. Mm-mm. So when you tell me that you're washing a whole bunch of meat. So it looks like plastic. Near the soup, that's supposed to be chicken. So plastic meat. No, the soup I got was beef. Mm. Because it was, um, I love the, um, what you call the red bean soup. I love that one too. Theirs mm. is good too. Theirs love is the good. red bean soup. So yeah, I don't. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. And I'm not. I'm not. Um... Alexa, stop. You can you can um, rinse her with cool water, please. Okay. I wish I had a helicopter. I gotta fly home. A helicopter. Mm-hmm. It is not that well, bad. Let's think about that traffic. Now. Well, where are you on land? You ain't got no roof right now, do you? Well, that's <laughs> true. I'll, 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 I'll land on the neighbor. I hate roof. <laughs> on the neighbor's roof. But, Miss J, why you, you can go down the road and take 429 and cut the traffic out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down and take Iowa mm-hmm. get on the 414, and then, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not doing I-4. Uh, I mean, I'll Especially get home at nine. Lane. Yeah, this lane is crazy. Mm-hmm. I run the tolls and I pay them later. <laughs> is that what you do? Yeah, because like when I get the sun pass and all that stuff, I don't, I never use it. But when I need it, like I don't have it, so I just run them and it what totals up to about. I let it go for about $30, $40, and I call them and pay it. Girl, no. It. My son passed one time. It was so bad. I owed them over $1,000 in total. Oh, my. I can't let it get that high. Because oh, you'll oh, be driving on a suspended license and don't know it. No, when you go to renew your, your tag, oh, you right, can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah they'll say you got to pay that first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't let mine get that high. Mm-hmm. $30, $40, maybe $50. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just run it. Cause I ain't, it's gonna take forever to keep stopping and paying and looking for change and all that. So yeah, Mm-mm. I always are just running the toes, paying later. Oh man, the live just went down, huh? Cause I'm sitting here eating and y'all ain't all in my business. Sorry. You ain't offering nobody now. Okay. What state am I in? Florida. Conditioner, just the B7 and then B7 with her and rinse her out. I'm eating right now. Actually, when I leave work today, I gotta go to, I gotta find some clerk of court, Seminole County clerk of court. Cause they gave me a ticket for driving without my license in hand so i don't want to have to pay them so i'm gonna go pay them ten dollars and show them my driver's license <laughs> you said you don't want to you know you're supposed to have a license it was no you know when you change your purse and oh, i changed yes, my purse yes, and yes, I, yes. I didn't put gee 
Hobbit. I have to have a habit of putting my driver's license back in my wallet and not just throw it on the side yes. of the purse. Yes. That's what I do. Excuse me. So I changed my purse and I didn't remember to take everything out of the side of the purse, which included my driver's license. Mm -hmm. See her I work, her work, her, her, her professional capacity just came out just but now. But they can you know? run it and see that you have a valid license. I know you're supposed to. Sure, they ran that before they even pulled you over. They knew who you was. Well, they did, but you know, the 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 the, the jurisdictions got to make a buck. What of you course, mean? you can't. Like, if you don't yeah, have any crime, you can't. You can't keep it running. Terrible. That's insane. Mm. Like you know, I have a valid license. Girl, they knew who you were before you even pulled to the side. Yeah. Because now they have the little scanner thing. They don't have to type in tags anymore. They got that some years back. Mm -hmm. And I was actually behind a cop. They got pulled over. Oh, my. That's horrible. <laughs> I was behind him. And that's when I found out about the scanner thing. And I pulled into a racetrack. And he backed up and pulled right behind me. And I didn't know my license was messed up then. But, yeah. You know, he told me then about the scanner thing. I said, how did you know? And I was behind you. You told me, yeah, we got a reader now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It lets us know if you're on the side of us, behind us, on the other side of the street. All these tags and names and faces pop up, you know. And then, what, what jurisdiction was that? That was here. In Altamont? No, you shouldn't eat the tail of an animal either because it swipes across the whole constantly. So if you eat oxtail, <laughs> you know why you shouldn't. I don't eat oxtail. <laughs> So for all of you who love to go, can, go to the Jamaican restaurants, can I get a large yeah, oxtail and rice and beans, please? I know you know why? The, the motors, guys, but I don't know if it's regular patrol has that. No, they gave me time to bring it. I don't have to. I just got to bring it to the clerk's office, not even court, and just show them my driver's license and pay ten dollars admin fee. I'm gonna do it today because I only have until the second to do it. Can't hide anymore because it reads all the tags around them. All right, my phone. Well, you can you can pay three dollars and just extend the time up to ninety days. For what? Drivers for tickets. Most people don't know you can just pay three dollars and get an extension for ninety days. Mm -hmm. For a ticket? Yeah. I, know, I was talking about something else. That's why I was like, huh? What's I thought you were talking about a ticket. No, I don't have a ticket. Let me knock on wood. I've never got a ticket in my life. <laughs> One thing I will say, the the, put, the officer, that's why she got pulled. but see, the <laughs> officer was being nice because he saw I haven't had a, a traffic ticket in a long time, mm -hmm. so he could have given me a four hundred dollar ticket because I was flying through the express lane. I Instead, know. he's like, "I'm just gonna give you a ticket this time for not having your driver's was license he? present." Was, was he driving with you? Where was he? Because I be so no, they were sitting like, in the express lane hiding where the little light <laughs> is that you, you drive through to pay the yeah. toll in the express. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Park like this, but by the time you see them, it's too late. I'm already speeding and I'm driving that car, that AMG, honey. I'll be all 101 that. and then feel like I'm driving 60 in my oh, life. No, no. I try to drive fast through that part too, thinking it's not gonna read my tag. But it's girl, still that thing is it. it has 900 yes. readers on it. You, yeah. it's made for motorcycles now, so oh, it can read the smallest tag. But I go past them through there, but now I'm gonna slow down since you said they be hiding through there. <laughs> Because it seems like only two or three cars be in the express lane with me. And that's they the problem. Me. And you know what they do? They sit behind the little house thingy that houses all of the mechanisms that is for the toll. So you can only see the mouth of their car, but by the time you're within a mile or half a mile of them, they've already spotted you. Those damn cops. You know who works more? Why don't they get a job? Come on, Saturday. I did that to my cousin this morning. She was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I thought today was Saturday. What? Girl, girl please don't rush the time. It's going fast enough. I'm about to go back. I have to enjoy my Ooh. life. Kristen just ruined it. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. I've been thinking they said it all day. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, you guys. So she got washed. You need anything else? No. No, that's it. She'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pray for me. I'm skinny. Oh. I don't like driving. So why don't you go to the bathroom, wash your face really well. Nice cool water, mm. and uh, take your shoes off when you get in the car. What that do? That make me even more tired. No man. Next side, Crystal. Next side. Okay. Shoes. So what? 
that's gonna keep me awake? Yes, it helps me. So just I try it. The I drive with no cool shoes, but that don't stop me. I still be itching like a little crackhead. Tired. <laughs> Every second I'm like, yeah, because I'm tired. <laughs> that don't do nothing. Oh, yeah. yeah, when they're tired, it's not a good thing to be driving. But mm -mm. Well, you get some coffee. Don't put coffee don't do nothing for me. Really? It actually makes me crash. <sighs> Gosh, Coffee Crystal. makes me crash. Red Bull makes me crash. Come well, Red Bull is not good for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. Was I supposed to dry it? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I just dropped it. She is so <laughs> sad, y'all. <Just> no. <laughs> I Remember, this is the hair I molded yesterday. Look at it. Look, I got even comb yeah, my would hair. Would that help you? A couple of coffee? Where, where can I go? They don't have a Wawa or racetrack over here. Oh, yes, they do. It's that way. Like the opposite way. You I should find survive. something in your way. Yeah. doesn't have to be a But by the time I do, I'll be home. So I'll be okay. Oh, okay. If I get too tired, I know to pull over. Because I've done that once. Ran off the road one time. I said, Put on your favorite again. music and make it loud. That's... Look, she, She's different from us, Crystal, because she said, remember how you told her when you take off the shoes, that's going to make you even more tired? That makes me more tired. So that don't help It's going to make me more relaxed, too, because I sleep oh with loud my. music and stuff oh like that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Terrible. No, i would be okay, Miss Jennifer. <laughs> don't forget to get your gift. And you can get, a, if you want, a flower pot and a rug or whatever you want. They got all the gift bags, but get whatever you want. Crystal, she got you. Crystal got me? Yes, Crystal got you. Crystal got me again? She better have me. What? You. Man, I'm telling you. Boy, the Whatever audacity of the holiday. Oh, from you. Thank yes. you. The audacity. Um, it's, oh. It's rug, oh, look at that. Hold on. It's like and at the beginning of the, cal of every calendar year, shipping carriers the in the United States, States update their, their rates and services. Yeah. 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 This year, all carriers supported through Shopify shipping will make updates on the following dates. UPS retail prices increased by an average of 6.9%. However, Shopify shipping will not be impacted. Okay. DHL Express increases by 7.9%. USPS rate and service charges, service changes for 2023 are pending approval. The proposed retail rate changes will take effect January 22nd. So we don't even know what their, pro oh, here, I'm going to click it to see what their proposed rates are. This is why I tell y'all, y'all be thinking that people just be trying to just price gouge with shipping or something, honey. These shipping prices be astronomical. Terrible. Terrible. Hold on. They haven't even happy. sold the world. Merry oh, Christmas here we go. I will. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you. See you. you. <laughs> Oh, Crystal got the last Brian forgot. I did, that I did. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. I did. Oh, I no. did, I did. I'm so sorry. Bye, Bye honey. Bye, Bye, see you. <laughs> so some of the prices will go up, some will go slightly down, which is odd. Yikes. Am I coming to Cali? No. Come on, Crystal. Let me pay you one time so I can dash over here. Please don't forget the the stuff over there. My, oh, my serum. Okay. Can't wait for the time to to go forward. I don't like these um, short days. Gosh. Ready? Yeah, I probably press all of the things. Hmm? Have to it out. Oh, girl. Your hair will be drying. Five seconds. Just go fill out the thing. 
She is so, everything's just such a hassle for Shut her. Shut up, Crystal. Shut she up. She is actually, she just act like the world is just, ugh. Oh. Oh, Crystal, just take my payment so I can dash out of here. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to go back and see my roof, Crystal. They done? No, exactly. So we are rushed for. Because I want to make sure everything is good People ain't before even it gets yet. dark. It is 2.40. It's going to get dark in two hours. The car insurance in the state of Georgia will be going up in January 2024. At least you know January 2024. We find out the month before. Mm, mm, Speaking mm. of which, I have to find insurance for the other. Oh Lord, I forgot all about that. Ay, ay, ay. So, Crystal, I take it you're going to be going to all of the events. I am. Carnival is not just one day. It's honestly, I'm events. not. I'm not sure. Well, you need to inquire. There's always events, shows, and different things. It's it's kind of like a um, I'm like a deer in the headlights because I'm going. I'm really going. Like it was like Curacao. I don't know nothing. I know nothing. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> Okay, and when is the fee? When is the fee have to be paid?
Let me pull y'all this way. You know, I did not know that that rap, the rapper um, Take Off was going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. I did not know that he was gonna go through the same thing. Why is this person keep? Hold on. Hold on. It looks on. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay, actually, um, I'm actually with a client, babe, so I wouldn't be able to do that right now. Um, but what I will do in the meantime is, are you calling me from a cell phone? Are you, are you calling me from a cell phone? Okay, I'm going to send you a direct link where all you got to do is click it. And it will take you directly to my schedule for you to see the different services, that kind of thing, so you can familiarize yourself. Because at the end of the day, I still can't book that appointment for you because you have to pay your deposit and I don't take credit card information on the phone. Okay? So in the meantime, um, if you give me a couple minutes, I'll get that over to you. But I, unfortunately, I, I can't really consult with you on the phone, which is why I block out specific times for stuff like that. Um, but I'm, I'm with a client at this very moment, so. Okay? Absolutely. Okay, mother. Bye bye. So you took off time for this. So what did you do all week when you took oh off this girl, time? Was that was you were just waiting for them? I. Let me something. I was in the yard. I spent some time with Charles. But like yesterday, I was in the backyard. But the day before, I was in the front yard. Oh, so, are you redoing your side? No, pulling up weeds and all kind of stuff, man. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, I, um, I only have this, this week coming. Um, obviously, I'm at work, but then the following week, I wish I should even count because I'm on call for Christmas. Oh, man. Yep. So. Uh, that's 
said to myself, Johnny, for one year, one more year, you can do it. Ridiculous. Plus, you're going to get that other detective, so hopefully oh, that nice. will... Um, oh, they, they promote from within, right? You have to be, it's like, you have to be of the rank, right? Well, no, as far as being a detective, you just have to pass the, uh, the transfer review board. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So, so it's not like what we see on TV, like, oh, you have to already be something. No, 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 no. If you, if you are looking to become a supervisor, corporal, sergeant, and above, then you have to sit an exam. But so you don't even have to already be a certain No, no. Thing. Mm -mm. Once you are a deputy with good standing... Um, That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to have the, the, um, the knowledge, obviously, if you're going into property, you need to know you know what it's all about so that's why they always suggest that you do cross training and things like that because just reading what it's about is not that's not going to be enough got you mm -hmm. so this, uh -huh. yes we just speak and um Pull you guys that way. There we go. See you, Tanetta. Yeah, you guys, I'm on my last client now, so. <sighs> Today was great. You guys are always awesome. The fact that you guys are sitting on live and interacting and all of that good stuff. We don't really get to talk much, you know? <laughs> Ever since I started the kind of like the work with me segments, I don't really record as many videos as, as I used to, which I need to get back into my informational videos, which I will. But I like the work with me videos more. Because I'm an impromptu person, so work with me allows me to not have to do extra. Like anything that doesn't require me to do extra, I'm always good with. That's everybody. That's just how I am. Like I, I like to, like when I do my YouTube, I am not a feel like I'm teaching kind of person. I don't want to feel like I'm teaching. I'm just giving you the knowledge that I have, and it, it feels good to give someone that knowledge. That's really it for me. I asked the question the other day, I was like, you know, do you guys prefer the pre-recorded videos or the work with me videos? And everybody was like, I prefer work with me. But you guys get to see what it's really like in the salon. Like I get good feedback more than I get bad feedback. The bad feedback I get from people who are probably just super nasty to themselves. They're not kind with themselves. So you can't be kind with somebody else if you're not kind with yourself. So they usually are the ones that come with the negative and the, oh, I would have walked out. Oh, that's probably why you're not in someone's chair now because of the stubbornness and the thought process that you have. You're not even trying to understand. So Crystal, tell me how you end up back on the right side. <laughs> Wait a second. So I'm sitting here in my head and I'm like, so why is it like working against me like that? This is my dominant side. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yes, dear. And I'm just working and working, and she just acting like she ain't, she ain't gonna say nothing. Mm -hmm. Good thing I said something. A good thing I caught it. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> good thing I caught it. Hi. So we actually did some highlights on her a couple weeks ago. Um, she talked bad about the tapings because they weren't enough on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> My clients are, are super privileged, you know. Oh, goodness. But hey. for the most part, I, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy my clients. I enjoy 
I enjoy just being on live because it's like I'm I'm doing something that's natural to me. So I don't have to put on. And a lot of people are you you want people to be superficial and then when they are superficial, you want to be able to call them superficial at your convenience. So then when they're super real, you don't know how to handle it. So I'm one of those people where I'm very transparent, like sometimes too transparent. I'm sometimes too transparent, definitely. Learn a lot from you every day, not only here, here, but the reality about life. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, it's a jungle, I'm telling you. It is a jungle. <laughs> mm. We live in a jungle. in my world that they will swallow you up if you don't know knowledge is everything mm. i was even sharing with them the knowledge that you gave me about the public adjuster that nobody knew existed in life mm -hmm. really did help um the guy gave me misinformation at the beginning though because he said that and i i told uh, i sent the email that i sent in Mm -hmm. To the roof, he said that they were going to pay for the their services. services. Yeah, no, they didn't. Okay. I did out of your yeah, insurance. exactly. And that's what the adjuster told you. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. they want to make sure you sign on that dotted yeah. line, and now you can't get out of it. Yeah. I mean, you could also say it was fraud, but by the time that's done, it's like, yeah, oh, is it worth it. it? Exactly. But now you know. Mm-hmm. You live and, and you learn. And he knows, and he said he gave it to his boss, so. Now the boss knows because, and I asked him, well, what happened? What was the outcome? And he said, well, the boss suggested, um, I guess the gentleman needed more training. Well, he knew what he was doing. Okay, so where, where's a quarter of my money back for mm -hmm. <laughs> right. not giving me um, correct information? Right, you lied on something that's legally binding. Yep. In your contract, did it say that, though? Did they point out where in the contract it says it? No, the contract does not say that. The contract... So you know that you could, legally, you could contest it then and get... I know that I can, back. but... You just don't want to. Mm -mm. Sometimes it's worth it, though. Some people just... have to understand and stop playing with people's money. I know, it's ridiculous. Almost $3,000 was 27 and change. That's a lot. That you had to take out of your own pocket. Mm -hmm. What do you think of those colors that you, I guess they're warmed before you put them in your hair? They've been around a long time. Instead of trying to see the colors at night. I mean, it's still like you're flat ironing your hair, though. I see. So if you're going to do that, mm -hmm. you might as well just flat iron it. I see. Okay. It might just be at a lower mm -hmm. heat level, but mm -hmm. technically you're still like, using heat right. in a lower form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
hungry. Mm-hmm. And I can't stop. I gotta go home, so. Nice and fluffy. You better Instacart something, um, what they call it? Um, DoorDash something to your house, so by the time you get home, there's something there. I have something there. I, I'm gonna have to let my granddaughter do that for herself, because literally there's nothing in the house. Oh, wow. I make um, quinoa. You make quinoa? Mm-hmm. You but like she quinoa? doesn't like it. Yep, I like it. So you know what I want to I want to try kimchi. Kimchi? I don't know what that is. It's it's fermented cabbage. Oh my! I just always see it on. Y'all just mind y'all business. I always see well, it on TikTok, just, and I just want to try it. You let me know how that goes, because when you say fermented, forget it. <laughs> well, they. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna say fermented. Well, maybe it is fermented. Yeah, because they let it sit. Oh. But I want to try it. Well, you let me know. You are a brave one. I'm taking the black one. I like the big black one. What, the rug? That, no, no. The, the... Planter? Uh, mm -hmm. The big black one. I can put ice on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your, your arm. Yes, darling, I'm going to get it. Yes. Thank you. Because <laughs> you got issues. <laughs> Very honest. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. You got it on the right side. Mm -hmm. She said, try fish cakes as well. Mm -hmm. One day. Let me use the restroom real quick. Okay. Right, you guys. Give me a hug. I'll see you after the holiday. Yes, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You too. All right, my dear. All right. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Oh. <laughs> oh man, let me get my purse here. My hair looks like crap, but we'll be fine. I'm gonna find my way to. The Seminole County Courthouse to go and uh, make sure that I don't get this big old charge for this stupid ticket and turn in my driver's license so that they can take it off. Where is the ticket? Of course, they would be this far away. They close at 4.30, so I got to get there fast. Seminole County. I hope they have more than one location. That would be great. Let's see. Full service, that's there. Records. It says that there's one in Altamont. Let's see if they will take it there. No one never some type of automatic system. The clerk's customer service team has relocated from the Seminole County Courthouse to the Criminal Justice Center located at 101 at Slinger Way. Scheduled hearings and jury duty will continue at the Seminole County Courthouse. Visit our website at SeminoleClerk.org for the most recent child support payments, online payment options, to view images, and other online
online services. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For hours of operation and directions to our location, visit our website or press 1. For traffic, misdemeanor, or felony, press 2. For all civil matters, traffic, misdemeanor, or felony. If you would like to make a credit card payment for a traffic, misdemeanor, or felony case, press 1. Bye, Pat. For all I do not recognize that as a valid entry. If you would like to make a credit card payment for a traffic, misdemeanor, or felony case, press 1. For all other inquiries regarding traffic, misdemeanor, or felony cases, press 2. Wait while I transfer your call. Thank you for calling the Seminole County. How many people you got to go? Bye. To the next available representative. Your call is important to us and will be answered in the order in which it was received. All right. Bye. I just don't want to have to go all the way to Sanford. To this big old building. When I can go up the street. Thank you, Cynthia. Well, I'm going to go to this one. If it doesn't work out, then I guess I'll have to go to the other one on Monday. But I'm gonna... What's illegal in New York? Bye, Miss A. All right, you guys. I'm going to let everybody go. I know you guys have things you could be doing on this great Friday. So I'll see everybody tomorrow morning, bright and early, for another work with me.